くて自分の居場所にこだわる力の印を壊された少し変わった自分の居場所に。自分の居場所に。
everyone, LJ here. Welcome back to another PE Live. We got a good show for you guys. Today is May 8th, 2019. We are humming through Maine, through Maine, through Maine, through May. Humming through May. And I'm telling you guys something right now. I keep on forgetting to do one thing before I start this uh, stream. Turn on my air conditioner because it's already getting really hot. Give me one second, guys. <laughs> I always do this. <laughs> Okay, 
We back. We we back, boys. We back. We back. We back. So, um, just got back from the gym. Had to hurry. Had to cut the workout a little short, but I still got a good workout in. Had to cut the had to cut the the workout a little short, but we got it in. We got it in today. We got it in full body workout, guys. We got chest in. We got biceps. We got shoulders. We got abs. Forty minutes on the cardio. It was still a good workout. It was still a good workout. So I'm not too upset, but I had to make sure that I come back here and get this stream going because you guys know how it is. I don't like to be behind. I've already caught up. I've got the Labo video. Let's just go right into Ninja News, all right? We're going to, this is all into Ninja News. I've got the Labo video written and recorded. So I recorded the Labo video. That should be up either tomorrow or the next day. It's pretty much recorded. I've got everything done. I just have to edit it. That's all I got to do is edit it. And it's going to be crappy quality editing too, by the way. So <laughs> nothing elaborate on the editing. So the Labo video is recorded and just got to be edited and we're good. Um, all right. So um, anything else when it comes to Ninja News? Yes, we had another Fire Emblem Three Houses video. Video is doing pretty good. I think we have around like 2,000, 3,000 views, somewhere in that range. So pretty good. You guys make sure you guys check out that video. A lot of you guys are probably going to watch that later. Um, that's what you guys did with my other one. My uh, previous Fire Emblem video is going towards ten, going towards 10,000 views. So if you have not seen my two Fire Emblem videos, the hype videos, those that series is going to continue as we get more and more information on Fire Emblem Three Houses. So thank you guys for watching that. We also had a video on Monolith Soft as well. This is big for Monolith Soft, which talked about their, um, their 200 member plus or 200 employees plus uh, milestone that they've hit considering where they were in the past. Now they're at this point, that video's at um, 8,000 plus views. So thank you guys so much for the support on those. Tomorrow morning, we will be having a um, look, a look at Bandai Namco and some of their stuff that they're going to be doing. Because there's been some announcements with Digimon Story potentially coming over and some other things with Bandai Namco. We have Tales of a series hitting some milestones. So we will talk about that in a quick bait title tomorrow morning. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> kind of. Um, so we will be talking about that tomorrow morning. Um, so look forward to that. Today, I wanted to kind of chill, hang out with you guys, and talk about some hidden gems and you guys' favorite stuff when it comes to that. And some E3 predictions. I think it's time. It's ripe. It's ripe for E3 predictions. We're going to be doing E3 predictions a lot. I don't care if you guys tell me the same thing over and over. We're going to be talking about E3 predictions quite a bit, so that should be a lot of fun as well. Um, all right, so that's it for Ninja News, guys. Um, all of the PE Lives are up either on the community page or on the in your feeds or on the regular regular uh home page for player essence so if you're looking for um any videos that you missed or if you want to catch up on the pe live the day cap or the night cap um keep that in mind all those are up remember guys if it's a night cap video it will say pe live nc for night cap and then if it's a day video it'll just say pe live okay so we just we just started doing that recently on there so both of those are up pe live so you'll see pe live nc and then just regular pe live so that's either if it's day or it's a nightcap. Um, so keep that in mind when you guys are just going through the videos or whatever you want to watch. All right. Uh, last weekend, we did have some Atlas videos. So if you haven't seen those Atlas videos with the two protagonists, uh, one from um, Fire, or not Fire, um, one from Persona 3 and Persona 4, those are up on the channel as well. So make sure you guys check those out if you haven't done so. All right. So let's go ahead and get into shout outs. Um, if you want me to say hi to you, feel free to say hi in the chat. I'll be more than happy to say hi back to you. Um, and we'll get everybody in. Workout essence. I know, man. Um, all right, Omari A, what's good, man? Good to see you here. Midas Magnezone, what's up, man? Um, let's see here. Dank Meme, what's good? Uh, good to see you, Dank Meme. Galaxy B, what's up? J2 Blue, Sexy Jutsu Originator, what's good? Patty Rowe, what's up, man? How's it going? Gunslinger, shout out to Leading to Gunslinger. And I will be doing that I am, after this stream is done. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have a... I'm not 100% I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to have um, a live stream after, um, after today's stream. Or, sorry, a gameplay live stream. I'm going to edit those videos so I can get those videos edited. And then if I can finish the video before the night stream for PE Live, uh, the nightcap, then we'll have maybe some super, or sorry, probably some Mario Kart or something. We're going to play, or I'm going to play something after tonight's stream. So um, I want to get those videos edited. At least want, I want to get one of those two videos that I recorded today completely edited. My um, Bandai Namco video is actually about halfway done. So good chances are that we'll have a live stream after um the 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 nightcap so that might be that might happen like i said but i still have that labo video to edit so uh might we might skip today and then come back tomorrow strong because we'll have two solid videos and then i can work on another thing and i have no gym tomorrow so um they don't have to worry about going to the gym and all that 
All right, so um, let me continue on here with the shout outs. Shout outs to Fury Tiger. What's good, Fury Tiger? Elite Ninja Fury Tiger's here. Dustin G, what's up, Dustin? Good to see you here. Hokage's here. Just, uh, Dustin G's here as well. What's up, man? How's it going? Good to see you here. Focus on me says, hey, yo, what's up? How's it going? Robert, yo, my boys, the Viking Nation showing up today. Let's, what's, what's good? Robert is here and also Fury Tiger. Shout outs to the, to the brothers, to the brothers. Uh, the, the, the Viking Nation is here. Galaxy B once again. Shadow of Nexus. What's up, man? Uh, remember me as a hidden gem, though. <laughs> is it? Gustavo. Hi, hi from Brazil. Shout outs to Brazil. Good to see you here. Love the international essence. I actually checked my analytics the other day and more than half. I don't know if I told you guys this, but more than half of the people who subscribe and come to this channel are not from the U.S. Freaking nuts. So more than half of the people that are you know that are watching this channel and subscribed are not from more than half i have more international users than i have actual us users which is crazy which is just nuts to me which is awesome thank you guys for the support from wherever you are in the world um 48 are from here the mainland um and then the rest are from international outside of the us so crazy um great stuff great stuff um international ninja exactly ulysses what's up ulysses how's it going man good to see you here shout outs to that brand new badge my boy three ticks on that sharingan thank you so much for the support man i appreciate that jarmo what's up my boy kaido j what's good how's it going chuba shout out to the ninja chuba when's that bad dude we're all waiting on that badge to change all right 11 months chuba you're almost in that Renangan category let's go um we do have a little bit of an anointment today guys um after Quite a number of months now. Um, also, shout outs to um, the people that are showing up. But my man Gunslinger has been around. He's been doing a great job here. Um, I, I, Gunslinger, we, we got to get you with the mod ship too. So we're going to go ahead and hit Gunslinger up with the mod ship as well. So shout outs to Gunslinger. Um, let's go ahead and get you with the mod, man. Thank you so much for the support on the channel. And also, basically being the model, the model type of ninja here in the village. You know what I'm saying? Like, you show up. You're very nice, very courteous to everybody. You welcome people to the stream. You retweet very nice to me even like i said helping me out with the whole xenoblade stuff walking me through or giving me detailed like directions on how to do that so i appreciate that my boy and like i said does not go um unnoticed so shout outs to you congratulations on the mod ship my boy um all right alonzo vines shout out to ladies alonzo vines what's good what's good so car my boy running gun user so so car uh shout outs to you man um what countries are there outside of every single country that you can think of south south america um you have canada uh we've got uh like romania we've got australia we've got the uk pretty much everybody outside of there we got some people in hong kong china well not china but uh <laughs> not china but um hong kong uh we've got um japan got a little bit from japan i mean just every other country that you can think of in the world you know that that's that um has normal access to the internet you know I uh, got some South Africa going on there, you know, Cape Town or something like that, you know. So we got quite a bit, man. We got quite a bit. Germany, yep, Germany as well. Germany, Italy, a um, lot of European nations. There's just a lot that that are just not here, whether they're watching the videos, you know, or coming out to the streams. So, exactly, exactly. Um, uh, shout outs to Jazzy. What's good, Jazzy? Good to see you here as well. What's up? Shout outs to leading to Jazzy. Um, all right, so I think I, I think I pretty much got everybody here. M. Williams, what's good, M. Williams? Uh, Jamie X. Adame, what's up, man? How's it going? Shout outs, shout outs to everybody here. Seriously, I appreciate you guys. Um, appreciate you guys coming through. Dave Gaming, what's good, Dave Gaming? Shout outs, thank you for the three months of support plus. Um, I appreciate that, my boy. Um, all right, guys, before we get started here, please make sure you guys um, hit the like button. And also, um, if you're somebody new, subscribe, but hit that like button and share the stream if you can. I did have a post on Twitter. You guys can go and hit up with that retweet. That would be fantastic. And of course, Party Man, the bodyguard, my, my shadow. My boy is here. <laughs> my boy is here, Party Man. What's good, dude? Good to see you here, like always. Thank you so much. Phil says, damn, so many mods. Yeah, they got a lot of mods. I, the, the channel's been around for a while. So some people have been mods for like T-Dude. He's, he's been a modder forever. You know, and then some people have a new, new status, you know, but we do get we do get quite a bit of trolls every now and then. Not anything crazy, not as much as some other guys, but uh, we do get some trolls here and there. Whenever some crumb cider decides to drop some like a video, then then they send their trolls over here, but they get banned pretty quickly. <coughs> most of most of these crumb side channels barely have enough subscribers, even, um, you know, uh, enough to even warrant them making videos. But hey, um, but yeah, sometimes they send their they send their their cronies over here. So got to have the moss to make sure that we strike them down quickly. 
Um, all right. Um, all right. Aiden Quinn, what's good? Elite Ninja Aiden Quinn is here. Uh, I never forget Party Party Man. Never. Never forget Party Man. KJ2399, what's good? How's it going? Good to see you here as well. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the content here, guys. Starting off with hidden video game gems. This is a topic that I always like to revisit every few weeks because to me, a lot of the old school games and the hidden gems, they obviously don't get enough attention. So if I had a list of hidden gems that I would talk about where maybe games that didn't get as much attention that they deserved, but they needed more attention, I have two games that always pop up in my head that I'll always talk about every single time. And that is one, Miramasa of the Demon Blade. This is a game Miramasa of the Demon Blade that's on the Wii and it's also on the PS Vita, okay? That's where you can play this game at. And it was a vanillaware game. So if you ever heard of like Odin Sphere, games like that, it looked like that. And it was a action, or, or it's an action RPG. And back when it came out on the Wii, man, like nobody really knew too much about this game. But it was a really cool title to where you, you could play as a female ninja or you have like the dude ninja slash samurai, whatever the case is. And you go through 2D levels and just slash people up. I mean, it had really um, interesting art, um, really cool art. The art was amazing. The music was great. A lot of different like levels that you can kind of go through. A lot of content in the game. And I loved it, man. I beat it like multiple times when I was in college. Um, loved that game. Near Monster the Demon Blade. That's my first hidden gem. And then my second hidden gem is a game called Lost Odyssey. And I'm pretty sure you guys have heard me talk about Lost Odyssey on the channel. But Lost Odyssey was an absolute, amazing, captivating experience, man. Uh, don't call me Danny and P10 as well. What's up, guys? Shadow of Nexus, what's up? Uh, Jaleel as well, what's good? How's it going, guys? Good to see you guys here as well. Shout out, uh, Renning on user G5 is here. What's up, man? Good to see you here as well. Tomix as well, what's good? So to me, um, Lost Odyssey is the ultimate hidden gem. I know it's, I mean, people know about the game, but that game should have done so much better than it did. And I guess that's the reason why we're never getting another Lost Odyssey, right? Or at least we're not getting, we haven't heard about another Lost Odyssey. This game is going on, what, 11 years old at this point? Yeah, 2008. So it's going on 11 years old at this point. Um, but Lost Odyssey to me was the greatest game that like never crossed like, you know, like 1.5 million or 2 million or whatever the case is. It was just a, a spectacular crafted experience from the creator of final fantasy you know the guy who created final fantasy created lost odyssey and this wasn't like a game that had this was a, actually a fairly large budget game microsoft gave um hironobu sakaguchi and his team miss walker a lot of money to make this game and it's sad because with that money comes great expectations right and they were expecting this game to do like huge numbers, like right? five, six million probably. They were probably expecting some type of crazy number. I mean, I guess I'm I'm just guessing on that one. Or, um, but I know they expected it to do really, really well. And I know they wanted it to continue past. They wanted Lost Odyssey to be like a franchise probably. Um, just like they wanted Blue Dragon to be a franchise. Because they were, they were given, Hironobu Sakaguchi was given a lot of money by Microsoft to make these games. And these were high quality JRPGs. Um, but I can even throw Blue Dragon in there um, as a hidden, kind of a hidden gem. Blue Dragon was amazing. Lost Odyssey. Those two games in that, like Hironobu Sakaguchi's last stand when it comes to major mainline. Well, also, uh, you know, last the last story as well. But that's a different that's a different type of game. Lost Odyssey was really when he had the amount of funds that he could make to make a big game. That was his last one. After that, I mean, Hironobu Sakaguchi's been gone. There's been nothing that he's been able to do since then. I mean, now you see him at the Apple event talking about iOS, man. Talking about the Apple game store. It's pathetic, in my opinion. Um, what's happened to him is horrible. It almost reminds me of Koji Igarashi. And I really hope that that um, that uh, Hironobu Sakaguchi turns to Kickstarter or something. I mean, he needs more funding for some bigger games. But um, but either way, Lost Odyssey was definitely that hidden. It's like the hidden gem of all hidden gems. It's It's in my top five favorite games of all time. It's one of my favorite RPGs of all time. And it'll always be the hidden gem of all hidden gems to me. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, moving on. I ain't talking about Fortnite. <laughs> I ain't talking about Fortnite Season 9. We'll leave that to Ninja and all those guys over there. Um, but, yeah. Um, Daniel Crowder says, uh, my hidden gem. Let's go ahead and get to you guys' thoughts. If you have um, your hidden gems, if you have a game that you want me to talk about, um, please tag me at Player Essence or hashtag Player Essence. I'll be more than happy to talk about it. So, let's start off actually with uh, VC um and he says one of uh one of my hidden gems on the gamecube was alien hominid oh, okay yeah, i remember that game it was tons of challenging uh, fun and co-op was almost as hard as cuphead and co-op oh, okay yeah i remember hearing about that game i played it at a friend's house when he rented no i played it at the, the the nerd video game club at school i remember one time um 
and um, co-op. And yeah, it was hard. We got our butt kicked. Um, Daniel, um, let's see here. Daniel Crowder says, my hidden gem game is Sonic Chronicles. It was a really good game on the DS, if some people may not agree to me, but it was a hidden gem and Pandora's Tower on the Wii. Yeah, those were definitely some hidden gems. Some people didn't like Sonic, um, Sonic Chronicles. That was the RPG made by BioWare, which I think that that game, I've played that game. I think that game is better than most Sonic games. <laughs> The only issue is that they kind of cheaped out a little bit because they just use, they just reused the um, Rhythm Heaven or not Rhythm Heaven Elite Beat Agents engine for that game, and like you can really tell because of the like how you attack and stuff. But actually, Sonic Chronicles is good. It's not a horrible game. It's not. It's nowhere near as bad as people try to make it out to be. Um, so yeah, definitely a hidden gem. And also Pandora's Tower. Absolutely, I think that game. It it was just like a really late wii game and it was obviously rough on the gra graphics wise but the the story and how it progressed and everything with the whole eating the hearts thing to like flesh to like stay you know rel or to stay alive that was just crazy like with the crazy witch hex and all that like um i thought it was great i loved pandora's tower not loved i liked it i liked it um but it was good thought it was good um hellspawn ray says um uh, oh, hey, uh, hey, OJ, I don't see how Blue Dragon was overrated. It was rated in the 70s, in my opinion. So I don't I don't see how it was uh, overrated. <laughs> it was it was like a it's like a mid it's like a mid 70s game. So who overrated it? Um, Hellspawn Ray says, hey, OJ, uh, Lost Odyssey is one of my favorite JRPGs. If I had uh, the Final Fantasy title, uh, it would have sold millions. Yeah, if it was called Final Fantasy this or whatever the case is. Yeah, it would have sold millions. Absolutely. Um, yo, what's up, my boy, Joe, man? Good to see you here, Joe. Good to see you here. Good to see you here as well. Uh, good to see you here. <laughs> speaking of trolls, uh, not Joe, that is. Joe, my boy Joe, he's awesome. But speaking of trolls, uh, yo, shout out to Gunslinger. Thank you so much. Already putting those, uh, putting that, putting that, uh, putting that mod power to use there. So shout outs. Uh, long time no see though, Joe. Good to see you here, my man. Um, let's see here. Um, all right, my hidden gem is a lot. Guys, make sure you tag me at Player Essence so I can see your comments more. Some of you guys are stating your hidden gems, but I but you guys aren't tagging me. Um, all right, so Phil, let me see here. Philip says, um, I would go with Siren the Wanderer, the Wii entry. It's a downright masterpiece that few seem to know exists. Hmm, Siren the Wanderer. Is it, oh, Shiren? Is it Shiren? Not Siren. Shiren the Wanderer. Okay. Wow, I've never heard of that game. Okay. Uh, World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy is mad underrated this gen. Okay, but we're not talking about underrated. We're talking about like hidden gems, you know. So I think people knew about it. So so yeah. Um, yo, what's up, Frank Rodriguez? How's it going, my my boy Mudshock here in the house? Um, good to see you here. Uh, Emily says my hidden gem, if you want to call it hidden, is uh, actors on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, I mean I don't really know if that's hidden, but yeah, that's one of those games that just didn't get as much you know popularity as some of the other games out there. Uh, Shadow Hearts Covenant. Oh, Shadow Hearts. Okay, I've heard about that game. Was my hidden gem. Great battle system, story, and comedy. Um, all right, all right. Shadow. I've, I've heard of Shadow Hearts. Okay, cool, cool. Um, Alonzo finds says my two hidden gems are Infinite Undis uh, Infinite Undiscovery on the Xbox 360 and Final Fantasy Mystic Quest on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, I remember Mystic Quest. I remember playing that game. Infinite Undiscovery. I remember hearing about that game quite a bit on the Xbox 360, but never playing it. I don't think I've pl have I played it. I don't know. I, I might have. I played a lot of 360 games that I just forget. Uh, Lex Graham says, what's good? What's good, dude? Um, on the N64, I love Pokemon Puzzle League. I consider that a hidden gem. Pokemon Puzzle League actually isn't a hidden gem. And it actually sold pretty well. So I don't I don't call Poke I don't think Pokemon Puzzle League was a hidden gem. It was advertised well. It was on, like, Kids WV. It was on all the different shows. It was advertised, and it actually sold millions of copies. So I don't actually consider that a hidden gem. People knew about that game, and people played it. So, <laughs> so yeah, for a Pokemon spinoff, it was definitely known, and it sold. I mean, relatively to how the N64 sold, it, it, it was advertised, and it sold well. So I don't know if that's a hidden gem to me. Um, let's see here. Uh, uh, Jay Love Dollar Money says my hidden gem is Boktai, the first one. Okay, that was made by Hideo Kojima, Bo Boktai. Um, so that's an interesting game. Like, don't you need like the sun for that game? <laughs> you need to like be out in the day, so that means, or like be out in like outside. So that's a, it's a no no for me. I remember I was like, not where I live. I can't play that type of game where I live because it's too hot. Um, or I could only play it like in the like early, early spring, you know, or some winters during the day. So yeah, that was a no no for me back in the day. Um, so yeah, 
Um, Hidden Gem is defined by the game, doesn't have a lot of marketing and overshadowed by other games, right? Just uh, just needs memory refreshing. Yeah, that's kind of like what a Hidden Gem is. Like, Pokemon Puzzle League got tons of exposure and, like, got a lot of sales and was, like, advertised. Like, whenever I went to Toys R Us for the, po like, for the Pokemon card game, they were advertising Pokemon Puzzle League. All of those games, like Hey You Pikachu, even the, the crappy ones, Pokemon Stadium, all of those Pokemon games on the N64 that came out, like, spinoff or not, like, they're pretty much all spinoffs, right? All of those games were advertised well and actually did okay. So, I mean, like, I don't really consider any of the Pokemon games on the N64 hidden gems. Um, uh, yo, what's up, Jerry Chavez? How's it going, my boy? Um, let's see here. Uh, yep, yeah, no, Frank, we just started, dude. We actually just started. We're barely 30 minutes in. Um, so, yeah, man, you're good. Uh, Shiren uh, is a hidden gem. I got to check that game out. I got to check it out. Uh, my hidden gem is Alliance Alive. Well, the Alliance Alive, Mr. BDS, or just BDS, more like it. Um, that's coming back this fall. We're getting the Alliance Alive um, HD on the uh, on the Switch and I think PS4 or something like that. So, so yeah, man. Uh, Dev versus where did you get the Xenoblade Chronicles wallpaper? Oh, that's a random question, my boy. Um, um, I will answer. Uh, I will answer random questions towards the end. We're talking about hidden gems right now. So if you have a hidden gem, tag me with the hidden hidden gem, Dev Bird, and I'll answer your question uh, then. Uh, although I didn't know. Um, I didn't know anyone who had the game. Yeah, but the game sold well though. I mean, just because you don't know anybody who has the game doesn't mean doesn't mean the game didn't do well. You know, it just means that people around you didn't have the game. Uh, but no, it sold well. Uh, all the Pokemon games sold well. Like, they all sold well over a million on the N64. They were all advertised well. You know, people people bought them. Even the crappy Hey You Pikachu games, you know. But Pokemon Puzzle League was, was advertised well, and it did well. It was There was even a TV commercial uh, for the game. Um, Red Enigma, what's up, man? How's it going? How's it going? Uh, let me see here. You guys got a lot of hidden gems. Uh, G5 says, another one of my hidden gems is Gauntlet on the N64. Okay, Gauntlet. All right. Yeah, it's got a little hidden gem there. Um, let's see here. Um, uh, my day's going good, man. My day's going good. Fozzy Modus is my hidden gems. We're talking about hidden gems, Jay. So if you have any hidden gems that you want to talk about, let me know. Uh, my hidden gems, Star Wars Rebel Strike, Rogue Squadron 3. That game was dope. And Kirby Air Ride. Okay, Kirby Air Ride. Nice. Those are good. Those are some good picks. I don't know if Star Wars, though, is, is a hidden gem, but uh tkr vids says it's been a while since uh, i could catch one of these live one of my hidden gems is uh bots and kaitos yes definitely a hidden gem bots and kaitos absolutely absolutely that's one of my favorite hidden gems too um but thank you for coming out to the stream glad that you can catch it live Ooh, we got a lot of comments here uh kg2399 says one of my hidden gems is Le uh, legend of lagaya for the ps1 okay nice one of my hidden gems too that reminds me of illusion of gaia for the super nintendo that was kind of a hidden gem um, Gunslinger says my hidden gem is Time Splitters 2. It's a great first person shooter. I don't know if that was, was that overshadowed to, that got, that got a lot of promotion back in the day and it was on all systems, but I mean, I can see, I can understand that. Um, Don G gaming says, um, I know you don't like shooters, but the conduit is a hidden gem on the Wii and I'm not a shooter guy as well. Yeah. You know, I played the conduit and it's somewhat of a hidden gem back then on the Wii. It's somewhat of a hidden gem. Um, all right. Okay. TKR. Or sorry, TKR Vids with a dollar ninety nine donation. Um, shout outs to uh, Andre. Says nice thumbnail. Thank you, Andre. I appreciate that. Oh my gosh, we got so many people in here. We got one hundred and forty people in here. We got a ton of people talking. So sorry, guys. I'm a little behind. <laughs> I'm a little behind. But shout outs to T uh, TKR Vids with a dollar ninety nine donation. And uh, TKR Vids says, could you pl uh, could you please play? True mirror from Bots and Kaitos. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So you guys give some love, give some seringans, give some emotes to TKR Vids for the first donation of the stream. And TKR Vids, that does make you the top stream ninja. So thank you so much for the support to the Elite Ninja Village. I do appreciate that through Super Chat. And uh, we'll get your name up here on the leaderboard with the 199. And we'll get your music playing in just a bit, guys. And I will catch up. I'm sorry I'm so behind, but you guys, I, I know I love to bring up these topics because you guys have so many hidden gems. And I like to hear about some of these games, so maybe I'll go buy some of these and play them, you know? Um, so, all right. So, let's see here. Uh, Botan. Kite. That, that series needs to come back, man. Uh, it needs to come back. Um, all right. Here we go. Loved it. I like this song. All right, let me know how it sounds, guys. Is it too loud, not loud enough? Let me know in the chat. Oh, man, I got so many missed comments here. Lost Odyssey is my hidden gem. Oh, yes, Lost Odyssey is definitely a hidden gem. Let me know how it sounds, guys. Um, let me let me see if I can catch up here. 
I'm ready for Alliance Alive. Yes. Um, already pre-ordered it. Nice. Shadow Vix says, Enslaved on the Xbox 360 is the definition of a hidden gem. Enslaved is literally the definition of a hidden gem. Absolutely. Sounds good. All right. Enslaved was so... It was one of those games... It was really good. And I love... I like the emotional roller coaster of Enslaved. At first, like, you, you hate the, the... Like, the girl, like, traps you into taking care of her. But then at, by the end... At first, you're pissed off at her. But then by the end of it, like, you gradually feel more emotion and more emotion and more emotion towards the um, the partner girl. That's... Uh, I forgot her name. But I played Enslaved. I think I, I think a thousand point... I 100% I did that game. Um, I actually really liked Enslaved back in the day. Um, Lost Vikings says Dave Gaming is a hidden gem in the Super Nintendo. Maybe a cult classic. Oh, absolutely, cult classic. Shadow of the Wonder is a true ro is a true roguelike, and is currently um, un undebatably the best roguelike ever made by a rather large margin. At that, Chunsoft uh, once again proves how great they are. Okay, Philip, I gotta play this game. It's a roguelike. I don't like roguelikes, but is it like is it a game that if you don't like roguelikes, it's a roguelike to play? So I need to check it out. Uh. Oh, Bujengai! Bujeng, I remember Bujengai is a hidden gem featuring a, 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 a Japanese singer. I played it and nobody knows. Oh, I know about the game. Uh, Bujengai, the Forsaken, whatever. I beat that game on the PS2. Um, that game is freaking crazy. You, at the, the beginning, is like you do like all sorts of aerial combos and stuff. It's crazy. Yo, Andre, why would that? Tommy! Let's go! Let's go! Andre Wine swooping in through like the Hokage. My boy Andre. Special. Special elite ninja. 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 Ambu Black Ops in the house. Let's go. Andre Wine with the 15. It says Buck Bumble was a hidden gem. So can we get that theme going? <laughs> oh my gosh. Right on cue, huh? Right on cue. Shout outs to Andre. You guys give some love. Give some shitting guns. Give some emos to the man. The myth, the legend, Andre Wine, um, that has the same haircut as me. <laughs> that has the same haircut as me, and also has a daughter like me too. So, so shout outs, Andre. Um, all right, with the fifteen, that does make you the top stream ninja, as well. So, thank you so much for the donation. I do appreciate that. You are also the stream boss too. So, shout outs right over here. Uh, Andre is the stream boss. So, let's go and just get that uh, bigoted buck, buck bumble going, shall we, guys? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Buck Bumble theme. Um, here we go. Let me know how it sounds, guys. What about now? It's time to rock. It's time to rock, boys. My hidden gems is Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight's not a hidden gem, actually. Um, that's not a hidden gem at all. Um, that game sold millions of copies, and a lot of people know about the game. It's that I, I wouldn't call Hollow Knight a hidden gem. Um, let's see here. Let me know how it sounds, guys. Is, does it sound okay? Is the sound okay, or is it too loud? Not loud enough? Let me know. Turn it up. Okay. <laughs> the Bug Bumble. Um, let's see here. Um, DX11000 um, says uh, buy bulk slash for the Sega Saturn. I don't have a Sega Saturn. It's like anime Star Fox 2 with airplanes transformed to mechs anytime during gameplay, even the box is gold and a and like an nes zelda card i don't have a sega saturn so how can i buy it you want to send me a sega saturn <laughs> uh what we think another hidden gem is beyond good and evil um uh, beyond good and evil yeah i guess that could be more considered a hidden gem kind of got overshadowed a bit um actually oj you copied my haircut sir <laughs> radio sir i may maybe i maybe i did copy your haircut although wait a minute though andre your picture you had low hair in your picture. So, wait a minute here. Wait a minute here. Yo, what's up, King Beast? Dance party. Um, let's see, Deontay Hancock's says, Hidden Gem, maybe uh, Bloody Roar, Primal Fury on the GameCube. Yeah, I remember them advertising that game. But yeah, it, that's definitely more of a hidden gem. My hidden gem is Neopets Puzzle Adventure Wii game? Bruh, Neopets, okay. Um... For the N64 games, uh, has to be Mischief Makers. I've heard so much about Mischief Makers. I have not played that game yet. Is the game really good, Frank? My hidden gem is SpongeBob, lights, camera, um, lights, camera, pants on the PS2 and GameCube. 
It was a fun Mario Party-like game. Oh, okay. Have any of you guys ever played, I think it's called Fusion Frenzy on the Xbox? That was like a Mario Party-like game. That was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. Um, my hidden gem on the Switch is Dragon, Dragon Quest Rivals. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Switch is actually Mummy D oh Mummy Demastered, Pato Box, Pool Panic, and Immortal Redneck. Spe um, specifically, my number one Switch hidden gem. Okay, nice. Nice. Um, Fusion Frenzy is pretty good. I think you meant pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Another hidden gem, Nanoblade. I'm also reading the comments to find games. Yeah, man, I, 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 these games are pretty good. These games are, it seems like these games are pretty cool. I, I got to check out some of these games. Um, Philip says, I would say yes. There's a ton of innovation that a true roguelike gen has been needing for a while. Another innovation that has been uh, long believed to be impossible, but they... Uh, they pulled it off. Uh, the folk, <laughs> There's a focus on story, um, great setting, boss battles are good, and tactical, etc. Okay, so, okay, Philip, do you have me on Twitter? I'm going to forget the name of this game. So, I okay, I think I've been convinced. I need to play this game. Uh, is it Shiren the Wanderer? I need to play this game now. You've convinced me to play this game. Um, so, I need to see it. Uh, Dante's Inferno, okay, and Vanquish are another hidden gems. All right. Okay, I, I need to play this game, Shiren the Wanderer, now. Like, it, 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 I mean, if, if this is a roguelike game that's going to get my attention, all right, I need to see it. RGT85, the game, is a hidden gem. That's fair. <laughs> Pretentious Carrot says, my hidden gem was Nino Kuni 2. Hmm, super slept on because it wasn't as good as the first. I'm not sure if that's a, that's a sleeper, though, or the hidden gem. People know about the game. They just didn't buy it. Like, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what was that overshadowed by anything. It came out with a pretty good, really. I mean, I can understand why you have it as a hidden gem, though. I don't know, though. Um, Grow Lancer Generations on PS2. The real hidden Alonzo Vines says the real hidden gem is Nintendo Dogs. Okay, Nintendo Dogs. I don't know. If that's a hidden gem. That game sold like five billion copies on the DS. Uh, Ipster, shout out to Reningon user Ipster, says Hidden Gem, Space Station Silicon Valley for the N64, never heard of that game at all. Uh, more Hidden Gems for me is Tom and Jerry, Fist of Fury, and Blast Corps on the N64. I've, I've heard people talk about Blast Corps, and I've played it. When I played Blast Corps, I thought it sucked. I think Rare made that game, right? I was like, dude, this game sucks. I remember playing it one time and never playing it again because we I was compared and that I guess it's a true definition of blast of, of sorry of hidden gem because it came out like right around the same time that 007 I, I was playing 007 and then I saw blast corpse right and I don't know if it came out at the exact same time but I just remember it being next 007 at my friend Steven's house I went over there and he's like hey I got this game called blast corpse and I have 007 and I was like oh I've heard a lot about 007 let me let me play blast corpse real quick you know because I'd already been going and playing 007 and I remember playing it and I was just like bro like this game's like trash like and i but i know it's a good game though i know it's a good game um so yeah uh let's see here let's see some more hidden gems here uh kj2399 did i if i missed your comment please um please retype it guys i'm sorry i th there's so many people in here shout out to everybody showing up um uh, make sure you tag me at player essence if you want me to see your comment if you're not tagging me then i can't see your comment um vc says another hidden gem um on the switch is uh morio chronicles h Ooh. What's that? Morio Chronicles, like like an Oreo, but a Mori Morio Chronicle H? But it was originally on PS Vita. Uh, so does that mean I've never heard of the game? Or I, what is this game about, VC? Some dude says Custom Robo Arena on the DS was my hidden gem. Ooh, what's that? Is, is it the same? It's the same Custom Robo, right? Like from the GameCube? But on the DS? What, what is that? Metal Arms glitch in the system and cell damage on the GameCube. Cell damage is coming back, Saw Bosca, so that's cool. And um, uh, what did you say the other game? Metal Arms Glitch in the System. I remember playing that game and actually beating it when I was at Player One, the, um, the mom and pop shop uh, that I used to go to all the time. I, used, I just played the game all day and I beat it. Like, I think I paid like five bucks and I beat the game. So, yeah, that was great. That was a good game. That was a good game. Um, I don't have a Twitter account. Had one once, uh, but couldn't delete it fast enough. Twitter is so annoying. Twitter is can be very annoying. If you don't post anything, uh, you get flooded with messages. <laughs> yeah, Twitter can be annoying at times. Hidden Gem, Endless Ocean, and Deadly Creatures on the in the Wii, or on the Wii. Dude, I played Endless Ocean, and I hated that game. I remember playing Endless Ocean, I'll be like, dude, this game sucks. Um, but I know people like it, though, but I, I really hated that game. And um, Deadly Creatures, I thought it was stupid to play as, like, a like a scorpion, but I played the game, and I thought it was all right, though. At first, I thought it was stupid, but then I was like, oh, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, my Hidden Gem is Dirty Bomb uh, and, and War Game Red Dragon. Okay, I've heard of Dirty Bomb, but I have not heard of War Game Red Dragon. What's that about? 
Uh, Daku Sky says Hidden Gem is Gungrave on the PS2 for some reason. It didn't review well. Okay, yeah, I've heard of Gungrave, the anime, but I, and I know there was the Gungrave game on the PS2, but I never played it. Um, let's see here. Uh, this will help you remember, though. It's Atlas published, uh, it, so it's be easy to search for. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, cool, cool. Um, is that a hidden uh, Star Invaders? What is Star? What system is Star Invaders on? I don't think so. I might have played it, but I'm not sure. Um, Lane, um, love is over. It says, do you think Lost Odyssey will ever make a return? Um, I think maybe at some point it could make a return, but I don't know anytime soon. It'd have to be resurrected. It'd have to be resurrected. System Shock Two. That was the precursor to like Bioshock, right? Um, have not played, but isn't there supposed to be like some type of remake of System Shock or System Shock Two coming? Uh, Gravity Rush 1 and 2 are some of the best exclusives, but no one bought them. Yeah, those are definitely hidden gems because they were really overshadowed. Although people know about them, they're like cult, they're like cult hits, you know? Um, so yeah. Um, Gunslinger says, uh, player since another hidden gem of mine is Shrek Super Party. It was a pretty fun Mario Party style game. Okay, Shrek Super Party. I can't play any Shrek video games though. Shrek looks too stupid. Shrek and Donkey. Uh, so yeah. Yo, shout outs. Okay, we got another donation here. Third of the stream and second for TKR vids with a total of $7 now. So thank you for the $5 donation. Very nice of you, my man. And he says, Player Essence. Another, another of my hidden gems is Hotel Dusk, room 215 on the DS. Could you play the straight chaser, please? Uh, thanks. Absolutely. And thank you so much, TKR vids. I know you said that it's been tough for you to cast the streams, but thank you for the support. You coming back to the streams and supporting. I really do appreciate that. Thank you for the two donations so far, my man. And yeah, let's absolutely. Let's go ahead and get your um, your uh, your music going. Help. Oh, hell. Hotel. Hotel Dusk. Uh, dusk. Room 215. Um, theme. All right, so let's see. Another is Hotel Dust Straight Chaser. Okay. All right, here we go. We'll probably play it a couple times since it's only a, a minute 30. And this is a night. I like this song, actually. This is a good song. This is a very good song, guys. Let me know how it sounds, guys, okay? Let me know if you can hear it. Um... Evo uh, by Enix on the Super Nintendo. Oh, okay. I've not heard about that game, Paint Fat Purple. What's that game about? System Shock 3 teaser dropped recently. Okay, System Shock 3. Alonzo Vine says two more hidden gems is Scooby-Doo, Mystery, and Tom and Jerry on the Super Nintendo. Oh, okay. Okay. Dude, I love... Dude, this live stream's absolutely... It's been absolutely amazing. 50 minutes have flown by. I love doing stuff like this. So, I mean, you guys keep bringing these hidden gems. This is, this is amazing just to kind of talk about games like this absolutely amazing um you guys are bringing up so many cool games that i've never heard about or games that i really want to play so far on my list i'm gonna go ahead and write that down um i think philip let me go ahead and let me write that down what was the game that you told me to play i already forgot it um what was the name of the game you said she was it shiman the wanderer guys by atlas okay and uh bc what was that switch game that you talked like morio something i'm gonna check out that game i want to morio Morio, what was it called? Morio something? Um, it's a JRPG with fantasy star game mechanics. Xenoblade style waifus has a deep level progression system. Morio Chronicles H overall is a great game for the price on the Switch. Okay, I gotta check it out. Let me see here. Let me see. M O um, E Morio Chronicles. Because I'm gonna try to play more of like some of these weirdo games for you guys. You know, these um, for Let's Plays. I think those are gonna do better on the channel. And like me playing like Far Cry or something like that. All right. All right, cool, okay, cool, cool. I also wanted to get some research for maybe Let's Plays and stuff like that. Because I do want to do some Let's Plays on the channel. I do want to do more of those. Um, but I want to make sure that you guys, we do games that you guys are actually interested in. Because if I just play the popular games, like you guys don't care. Although we're getting down on Fire Emblem and God Eater. Don't get me wrong. We're going to play some of the popular games. But I kind of want to bring out some of the, the hidden gem games, you know. So it's a little bit of research for videos. And also, I want to talk to you guys about some hidden gems. And kind of get you guys' opinion. Because I know you guys love these topics. Um, I love Shiro and the Wanderer. Okay, is it that good? Who Okay, who else has played Shiro and the Wanderer? Who else has played it in here? Is it really as good as Philip is say, saying it is? I'm, it's Atlas, so I mean, obviously that that tells you something right there. Um, 
you playing gal metal uh got me interested in it yeah you know what gal metal was cool but it wasn't enough like, i wasn't compelled enough to keep playing the game it's a cool game don't get me wrong but i, I mean i'm not big on music rhythm games either you know so it's, it's, i just wasn't compelled enough to play it more but i'm glad that i bought it though because the physical edition is dope it, it was worth the 14 dollars that i spent on it just for the case and the you know and maybe one of these days it'll be rare you know um Pretentious Carrot says, um, Danganronpa 1 through 3 are also some of the best games ever made, but not enough people buy them. Okay. Well, enough people buy them for them to get sequels, though, so at least they have that. Singularity is a hidden gem? Hmm. What is Singularity on? Shadow of Nexus. What is that? Good on the volume? Okay, cool. Thank you so much. We'll, we'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, this is short. I'll, I'll play it one more time because it's such a short track. Um, this is a good track. It's very basic, but it, it's just nice, like, it has, like, that nice beat to it, you know? Hotel Dusk, by the way, is a great... That's a that's a great hidden gem, too. Hotel Dusk. Oh, uh, Sui, Sui Kodit Tactics on the PS2 is a hidden gem. Oh, okay. Midas Magnuson says my hidden gems uh, would be Kirby Dreamland. Is that a hidden gem? Avatar, The Last Airbender on GBA. And the very recently, uh, Drill Dozer by Game Freak. Okay. I don't know if Kirby Dreamland is a hidden gem. But, okay, the other two, I can see that. Oh, snap! Yo, Frank! Body in the chat! With the 30 out of nowhere! My man coming through like Madara! Pulling through the chat down! Body in the Hidden Village with the 30 in the chat becoming the top stream ninja! Frank Rodriguez with the 30 out of nowhere! Thank you so much! Madara coming through and says, Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse for the Sega Genesis was a really good game despite being a Disney game. I played that game. It is a really good game. It was definitely a hidden gem. Also, can you play Crystal Peak from Hollow Knight? Absolutely. Crystal Peak is a fantastic song from Hollow Knight. I like Hollow Knight so much. And yes, let me talk about Castle of Illusion. When I was younger, Castle of Illusion was kind of put out there. Um, but I don't know if people really played it that much. And I liked it. I loved Disney when I was a kid. I was a big fan of Fantasia and all the Disney, like, like Lion King, all that stuff. My dad used to go out there and buy these big, you know, those big old... Who, I mean, if you're born in the 90s, you know, or even like 2000s, when you bought Disney films, like the cassettes, they used to come in these big plastic thick cases. And collecting them were like, my dad used to always buy a bunch of them. We had a whole, like a whole slew. Uh, they would buy at yard sales. You can get these things for two to three dollars a pop for like different uh, Disney movies. And I we used to always sit down like on Saturday nights or Friday nights, me and my brother and my, and my two sisters and watch all the different stuff. So I was big into Disney. So whenever there was like Mickey Mania, when that came out or Castle of Illusion, any of these Disney games, I was always interested in. Even like when I was older, right? Like when I played, like when uh, Epic Mickey first came out. I was just so excited about that because it reminded me of like Fantasia or something like that. Like Mickey having these powers that he normally doesn't have. Um, I don't think I've ever told you guys that, that I like Mickey Mouse, but I do like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I do like, I thought he was just really cool as a kid. You know, I always used to watch, you know, whenever I could. Um, so yeah, uh, Castle of Illusion was great. It was great. Um, I liked it at least. Um, and, I like, and I liked Epic Mickey too. I thought like, Epic Mickey was really cool because um, Fantasia is one of my favorite movies ever. So, so yeah. Um, all right, so uh, let's go ahead and get this music going. Thank you so much, Frank. Our uh, Mud, my boy Mudshock with the 30, showing the support. Mudshock is one of those special Ambu Black Ops supporters on the channel here, so I do appreciate that. Let's go ahead and get your name up here on the leaderboard, my man. Thank you so much for the support. I do appreciate that. You guys give some love, shitting guns, and some emotes for Frank R with the 30. Thank you so much, man. I uh, do appreciate that. Thank you for the Ninja War funds. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and um, I'm probably going to have to add something in here. Uh, I'm probably going to add something here to this thing so we can make sure we get more. Anyway, I'm, I'm mumbling to myself. Let's get this music here. <laughs> I'm always thinking about improvements to the stream, guys. I'm always thinking about improvements. I even think about improvements to the stream while I'm sleeping. No joke. I get ideas for videos or improvements that I'm going to do while I'm sleeping. I'm always thinking about stuff. I'm always thinking about what I'm going to do next. Um, all right. Um, OG's favorite character is Donald Duck Brett. Donald Duck ain't wearing pants. Mickey's wearing, M Mickey goes shirtless. I, I can deal with somebody going shirtless, but pantsless? Nah, I can't, can't roll with that. Um, all right. So Crystal Peak. Crystal Peak from Hollow Knight. All right. Great song. Um, all right. Here we go. Let me know how it sounds, guys. All right. So I'm probably behind a bit. This is another hidden gem is Elite Beat Agents on the DS. Yeah, Elite Beat Agents is definitely... Uh, request Sanjutsu, lol, shoutouts, 
Phil says, uh, okay, you missed the two, uh, my other suggestions. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. We have 150 something plus people in here. We got a ton of people talking about their favorite stuff. So that's uh, so why I'm extending this topic. We're going to extend the topic. Don't worry. We're going to get everything. Um, um, I don't count. Um, I, I don't know if this counts, but I think um, Asteroids on the PS1 is a hit. Okay. Drill Dozer on the GBA. Okay, gotcha. Phillips says, sorry, I'm the Wanderer re entry. You missed the two of my previous suggestions, though. Um, Hoshigami for the, P uh, for the PS1. Don't play the watered down DS remake and Dragon View for the Super Nintendo. Okay, okay. Shout outs. Um, uh, let's see, Hoshigami was really good. Sle uh, sl uh, but uh, Stoop Hard. Oh, but uh, probably like a hard uh, difficulty. Okay. Um, Obi Phoenix says Greedfall, another gem game that was going to be announced for um, E3 2019, my favorite game. Okay, okay. Uh, so you can attack this is awesome. Okay. Okay, guys, let me try to get through these a little bit quicker. Hidden Gem Scooby Doo for the N64. I never even knew there was a Scooby Doo game for the N64. And Tatsunoku vs. Capcom. Yeah, Tatsunoku vs. Capcom is really good. I played that game quite a bit in college. Um, Room Factory 5 is already a hidden gem. <laughs> it's already a hidden It's not even out. It's a hidden gem. Um, let's see here. The guy who made Epic Mickey also made uh, System Shock, by the way. Warren Spector. Yes, he did. He did. Um, and he also made uh, 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 Deus Ex or Deus Ex. Uh, he also made that game, too. So he was the creator. Warren Spector. He was the creator of a lot of pretty cool games. Um, and then they ruined Epic Mickey by by rushing the dev team and by trying to put it out on like 15 different platforms. So Epic Mickey had a bright future until Disney ruined it. Anyway, um, I played Epic Mickey on Vita. Only Mickey game I ever played. Nice. I mean, Epic Mickey's good. It's a good game. It's a good game. Uh, Lamarvin uh, McMorris says uh, Cold Shadow starring uh, Maui Mollard on Super Nintendo. And Genesis with True Hidden Gem. Hmm, I've never heard of that game. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Yo, what's up? What's up, Rilo? What's a uh, sortable shelf? How's it going? Wonderful 101 is definitely a hidden gem. Absolutely. And Vex, absolutely. Um, Boston Chase, Chase Bot with a, a Twitch follow. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Fire Nation, my boy. Um, Scooby-Doo was lit. Was Scooby-Doo really good? I never, I never even heard about it. Have I done E3 Switch predictions? No, I have not because I'm so behind on... Um, uh, hidden gems. People are still telling me they're hidden gems, so I'm so behind. Um, Enchanted Arms. Who Enchanted Arms? That was the like Xbox 360, wasn't it? I remember that game. Um, is everything sounding okay with the volume, guys, on the music? Is everything okay? Um, let's see here. Uh, I, yeah, I had no idea there was a Scooby-Doo game. Um, Don G says, um, Avalon Code for the DS and Away Shuffle Dungeon D. Uh, okay. Oh, a Sakaguchi game? What? Really, Don G? Hmm. Under the Skin on PS2. What is that? I've never heard of that game. Um, Lilo and Stitch on the GBA. It was like Metal Slug. Fun game. Lilo and Stitch. Let's go. Uh, Daku Sky says, I remember another hidden gem I played as a child. Danny Phantom, the ultimate enemy. Hmm, Danny Phantom. That's the, uh, the cartoon. Is that the Nickelodeon uh, show? Um, let's see here. Uh, Deontay Hancock says, hidden gem. Um, are Feel the Magic on the DS. Feel the Magic, that game sounds familiar. And Bloody Roar, Problem Fury on the game. Yeah, you said, you already you already mentioned the Bloody Roar game. Yeah. Uh, Joshua Tobar says, Monster Boy and Curse Kingdom on the Switch is a hidden gem. You know what? I don't know if you can really count some of these indie games that are coming out because they're indie games. But I think the, in but Monster Boy sold really well, you know? But I mean, maybe the original release maybe was a hidden gem, but not the re-release, you know? So I don't know about that. But yeah, I guess technically you're right. Yeah, technically you're right. Um, Payfat Purple says a real hidden gem is Dragon Quest Heroes 2. Damn fun game. It's not like the other uh, other Musou games. It's more like an action RPG. Uh, you would love it too. Uh, too bad it's only on the P uh, PS4. <laughs> oh, come on. Um, yeah, Dragon Quest Heroes. Um, I've actually played Dragon Quest Heroes. I've played Dragon Quest Heroes. It's it's good. It, it is more like a RPG. That's why I'm hoping like Persona 5 Scramble is kind of more like that. Because they, they did say rpg you know in there so uh, that'd be dope man yeah, that'd be dope I, I want persona 5 scramble to be like dragon quest uh heroes too um don g says ghost trick where's is, is that yellow kazoo is that you uh monster uh monster boy not wonder boy oh okay okay yeah my bad my bad i mixed those two up um pretentious carrot says dragon ball z attack of the saiyans in my opinion is a hidden gem i wish they made a sequel dragon ball rpg yes i've played that game and i beat it Dragon Ball Z um, Attack of the Saints is made by Monolith Soft. And yes, it is a freaking kick butt RPG, dude. It is dope. If you have not played Dragon Ball Z Attack of the Saints on the DS and you want some Monolith Soft action, make sure you check that game out. 
make sure you check it out. I have it. I have it, and I played it. Still have it. It's great. It's a great game, man. Um, VR Troopers for the Genesis. I remember VR Troopers were trying to go head to head against our, um, what was it? Against Power Rangers back in the day. Herzog Zwei. Okay, I'm gonna see this Shiren the Wand. I really want this Shiren. Is it Shiren the Wanderer game? Um, is it hard to find? It's on the Wii. Ooh, $74 for this game. Okay, it's on the PS Vita. Is the PS Vita version the same thing or is it a different game? Ooh, might have to go the Dolphin route on this one, my boys. Let me see here. Eternal Sonata. All right, let me let me check. Get the Vita version; it's the best. Okay, but I can't stream the Vita version though. Unless, can you do Vita version stream remote play? Does that work well for streaming? Does anybody know? Okay, I see the game here. I see the game on at GameStop. Um, but I need to check the availability. It's not yeah, it's not anywhere around. Currently unavailable. Let me check availability at stores. Um <laughs> The closest one is 71 miles away from me. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to I I could get a good price on it if I was closer to it, but I just it's just not there. Um dude, I played Ridge Racer 3D and Ridge Racer 7 are pretty uh pre dude, Ridge Racer on the D is that on the DS? Ridge Racer 3D? Or I don't think that, that's not the DS. The DS Ridge Racer game is horrible. It's horrible. Um let's see here. I hate that game. Get the Vita version, it's the best. Okay. Well, yeah, I want to be able to stream it. So um so yeah. You said I play I played Eternal Sonata too. Uh, but we're not we're not talking about whether whether we're not talking about other people that want to put down what other people think is a hidden gem. That's not the point of the stream. The point of the stream isn't to say, oh well I played that game. It's not very good. That's not that's that's not the point of the stream, guys. Like that's that's not the point of the stream is to criticize other people's, you know, um picks like when it comes to that. Now if you personally dislike it, that's okay. But let's just let's let's not let's not get too much back and forth with people. Now if you don't like something like I said, it's okay if you don't like it. But I mean, I've played Eternal Sonata. I thought it was okay. I can see why people, somebody would consider it a hidden gem. Um, I can see that. Um, I can see that. Um, Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Um, I would consider a hidden gem. Um, let's see here. You got PS uh, PS uh, TV. I had one, but I I lost it. Um, I lost it. So and like I think Amazon the PS Vita I gotta I gotta find this Shiren the Wanderer game for a good price. Let me check um like eBay. Oh, thank you so much, Boston Chasebot. Hey, Boston Chasebot, I'm also on YouTube as well, my boy. So shout outs. Thank you so much for following me. If you discovered me from the Spawncast, shout outs. The Spawncast is awesome. And um yeah, uh, I have a YouTube as well. So check check me out on YouTube too. So I'm pretty sure. You know, you might have already seen me on there. Um, all right. Sheeran the Wanderer. All right, let's see. The Vita version is so much cheaper. Okay. There's one for $38. Delivered in four days. Sheeran the Wanderer Atlas, we complete, tested, like new. Comes with the game, everything, everything's looking good. All right, let me just buy this right now. Like new. No thanks. All right, let me buy this right now. It's $38. That seems like the best price that I can find on it. On the Wii. Um... Let me 
just see if I can. Uh, shout outs to no other persona. Actually, let me buy this later. I'll buy this when I go offline. I'll buy this later because I, I, my account, <laughs> I haven't used eBay in so long. My account is being saying stupid stuff. So let me, it's being locked. So I'll buy that. She and the Wanderer later. Um, so yeah, uh, shout outs to no other persona with the $5 donation. Thank you so much. No other persona for the $5 donation. He says lost Odyssey, Nintendo switch port. A man can dream big, even though it could never happen. But damn, that would be awesome. Yeah, that would be awesome. And yes, I don't think that's ever going to happen. Um, that's never going to happen. But at the same time, I think it's still something to say. Yeah, that'd be cool. But thank you for the $5 donation. I do appreciate that. Uh, no other persona. Um, and um, I'll get some Lost Odyssey music going for you since you didn't request anything. Let's get some Lost Odyssey music. Let me know how it sounds, guys. All right, Hidden Gem Mega Man Battle Network series. Yeah, I can see why that'd be a hidden gem. Absolutely. Um, okay, don't get the DS version. Okay, I won't get that version. Um, EVO is like $600. Yo. Uh, that DBZ game you mentioned is going for $60 on, plus on eBay. Bro, I bought it for like $14 back, at like, back in like... Like three or four years ago. Yeah, but I got it though. I got it. I don't have the case. I just have the the, the cartridge. Sixty bucks, not bad, dude. <laughs> would uh, would arc the last two on the PS One considered hidden gem? Guys, how does the volume sound? Is this too loud? It sounds a little loud to me. So how's the volume on this, guys? Is it is it loud? Um, let's see here. Uh, you have to see player since uh, Shuffle Dungeon Miss Walker game. I gotta check that game out. Yeah, if it's Miss Walker game, I gotta check it out. Wow, it went up in value then, about time. However, uh, that said, it's well worth the 70 price tag. Although some, someone uh, usually not into roguelikes, I understand uh, why you would be. Okay. Well, I mean, like I said, I, I found one for $38. So maybe I'll check that out. Um, so yeah. Um, sounds good. It's loud, but you're too loud. I'm too loud. All right, shout outs. I, I'm supposed to be loud, so that's okay. Um, Party Man says, I would say Dragon Ball Z Sagas on the PS2 is a hidden gem, but that game is that game is bad in today's standards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dead Game says, okay, he's talking to Princess Lavinity. Um, my hidden gem is uh, Dragon Ball Legacy of Goku and Dragon Ball Super Sonic Warriors. So, yeah, those were, um, I think Legacy of Goku was a, G a GBA game. Um, it was like an RPG and it was kind of crappy, even for black back on the GBA standards, like from what people thought of it, right? Um, the graphics weren't really good, and it was like Goku just walking around. It was like RPG, like you were fighting like dogs and things like that. Um, so I can understand why it kind of got like overshadowed. Um, but I played it. I bought it and I played it. I was like, okay. And Super Sonic Warriors is a fighting game, and that was actually not bad. On the, I think it was on the DS. Super Sonic Warriors. This is a little loud. Okay, if it's a little loud for you, then turn down the volume on your set. But I will turn it down just a bit. Um, hey, what's up, Charity Scott? How's it going? Yeah, the, the topic is hidden gems that we're on right now we still haven't moved on to the next topic which is e3 predictions but we'll get to that guys and then we'll get to we'll get to everything but you guys have a lot of hidden gems and i want to hear about these because i'm trying to get some ideas for let's plays on the channel that you guys will actually watch you know um so let's see here um dustin g what's up dustin and he says um there's there's also a buyer slash seller app called um Mac Curry, yeah, you can find good deals on. It's better than eBay most most of the time. Okay, so it's kind of like let go, like an app like that. All right, let me. I'll check that out, Dustin. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> uh, Dragon Ball Fusions on the 3DS is, is hidden. Nobody knows. It's a strategy RPG, not beat 'em up. Hmm. Dragon Ball Fusions on the 3DS. Oh, I think I heard about that game back when it came out. Um, the volume is overpowering the audio. What, what do you mean the volume is overpowering the audio? What, what is the? <laughs> what do you, you mean the music is overpowering the audio? Like my my own volume? Like you gotta you gotta explain that better, to, dude. <laughs> the, the volume is overpowering the audio. <laughs> what, is what is that? What does that mean? <laughs> Mischief Makers um, was a hidden gem too. Yeah, we talked about Mischief Makers a bit. Yeah. By the way, Dragon Quest Heroes is, is on sale on Amazon right now for $13 free shipping. Dragon Quest Heroes 2? $13 on Amazon? I wish there was an Xbox One version, but whatever. Alright, let me buy it. 
I have no confidence that the Switch version is going to be any good. Yeah, 13 bucks. Okay, yeah, that's... That's pretty good. Yeah, let's go ahead and just buy that right now. Alright, so let me get that in mind. That's pretty much like, that's like nearly free. <laughs> for, for that quality of game. I mean, I've heard so many good things about it. I've played it a bit. I might as well just pick it up on the PS4. Maybe you guys might want to watch that. And also for my collection. I mean, $13 for a game. That's pretty good. Um, Alright. Alright, right, here we go. And Alright, so I will... Maybe some Dragon Quest Heroes 2 gameplay, guys. Pretty soon. Method. All right, so I should get it on Friday. Place my order. All right. Mm. Okay, uh, don't get the Vita version. It's completely different entry in the franchise. Okay, well, there you go. Completely different entry in the franchise. So no need to pick that one up. Uh, no need to pick that one up. Um, is Conker's Bad Fur Day a hidden gem? Not really. Everyone knew about that game. <laughs> uh, Fire and Ice have been a hidden gem for me. It's a it's a browser game. Oh, okay, browser game. Pain enthusiast. A lot of you guys are saying Mischief Makers. Yeah, Mischief Makers. Conker's, Conker's Bad Fur Day, it was really no. People knew about it. It was just like parents were trying to make sure their kids don't play the game at times. So, yeah. Uh, Crit Astro says, hey, what's up, OJ? How's the week so far? It's been pretty good. Mid midweek. Uh, what part of the discussion we're on? We're on um, Hidden Gems. We're on Hidden Gems uh, that people didn't kind of didn't play or every, Hidden Gems every game on Wii U. Just joke. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of real. Wonderful one. My Hidden Gems for the uh, Wii U are Tokyo Mirage Sessions, uh, the Wonderful 101, which is some Hidden Gems. I think like the, um, what was it? The... Fatal Frame game, that's like a hidden gem on the Wii U. What what other, do you guys have any Wii U hidden gems? There's probably quite a bit. There's probably quite a bit of uh, hidden gems, you know? Goof Troop on the Super Nintendo was a co-op hidden gem. Okay, Goof Troop, nice. I like Goof Troop as a kid. Seth Dean says, uh, best, um, best love stream I've seen in a while. Lots of good information. Yes, this is packed full of great information. So I'm, I'm thinking that this is going to be a really popular uh, replay for people that missed it. Uh, because there's a lot of great, there's a lot of, this is why I love doing stuff like this, because like sharing, like, like I've talked about like, sharing the spread of these crazy games like these, and you guys are like putting me on to like new games that we can share on the channel and stuff. This is, this is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. Especially while we, uh, while we wait for like some of the big summer games to come out, um, for the switch. This is amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing about so many cool games that I'd never heard about before. This is so awesome. Um, I see OJ needs new games to, to play to excuse his current backlog. <laughs> bruh, bruh. No, that's not it, man. That's not <laughs> My backlog consists of a bunch of PS4 and Xbox One games that I don't feel like playing, bruh. You know, because, you know, you know, I'm a fraud because I don't want to play Shadows of Mordor. Because <laughs> I don't feel like playing Shadows of Mordor, dude. Uh... <laughs> Okay, um, I think late 3DS games like Ever Oasis might be hidden gems. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Conception 2 on the Vita and the 3DS is pretty um, under the radar. Okay, um, it can get a bit weird at times. All right, Conception. Nice, nice. Um, I was just, VC says, I was just about to say that. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm, I'm fine with that, man. My life's, my life's pretty good. You guys make my life awesome. So everything's pretty good in the hood. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Dark Cloud 2. Dark Cloud's a great game. That's maybe like level 5. Dark Cloud 1 and Dark Cloud 2 are pretty good games. Um, Kurt Astor says, uh, well, if that's the case, Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii and the 3DS are my top hidden gems. I don't think those are hidden gems. I don't think those are hidden gems. I don't think Xenoblade Chronicles is a hidden gem anymore. I, I, don't, I don't think it is. That's just my opinion, though. Uh, Cursed Mountain on the Wii is a hidden gem. Cursed Mountain was interesting because Cursed Mountain, when they first showed off the trailer... <laughs> They made it seem as if the game was so graphically advanced. They were like, this is all captured. This is in-game footage from the Wii. And we we're like, dude, this looks like, 
Yeah, of course, it looks like 480p. It doesn't look that great, but they were trying to make it seem as if it was like the graphics were amazing. And they were like captured in footage. I mean, yeah, no crap. It wasn't like it was CG or something like that. It didn't look that great. The graphics wise, graphics wise, in terms of the game, I know there's some people that really love the game. It was kind of mixed on reviews, but overall, it was seen as like an okay game. Um, but definitely a hidden gem was Curse Mountain on the Wii. But I remember them just, their advertising for Curse Mountain was, was just freaking funny. It was just hilarious the way that they advertised it. Initially, when they first showed off the game, they were like captured it completely in the Wii footage. And we're like, everyone's like, uh, yeah, <laughs> like, the game doesn't look that great. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is Xenosaga a hidden gem? Kind of. At the When it released, absolutely it was a hidden gem. Because Monolith Soft wasn't the Monolith Soft that we know now, you know? Xenosaga was 100% a hidden gem when it came out. PS, PS2 had so many games. Uh, Black, the first person shoot on the PS2 was awesome. It was awesome, but I don't know if it was a hidden gem, but yeah, it was awesome. I think it was a pretty cool game. The Bouncer, okay. Uh, uh, Shield, Shieldster, nine. Uh, yeah, we already, we already knew Super Monkey Ball was uh, licensed, renewed by Sega. That's, well, we already talked about that yesterday. I have a whole PE live where we talked about that. So yeah, we already knew. Uh, oh, well, if you don't know, yeah, they did renew the license. So there you go um wizard 101 is also a secret uh hidden gem for me but don't play it um i've played it for 10 years now spent over 200 dollars just on memberships bruh yeah i'm, I'm good on that um uh, was that and and geezer against that such a dumb name for a game dude like jesus that stupid game that we lost the other day with cloud in there and tifa that stupid 3d fighting game like there was like one level where it was like what was it like the side of a building like and I was like, <laughs> fan victory, fanfare, the worst rendition of fanfare ever. Cloud gets on a freaking helicopter and goes, or he goes, he like runs. Remember when he did that loop? He did the loop right back. Like he didn't know where he was going. <laughs> and then the ending to that game. The final boss for that game is so stupid. <laughs> Just like this. The ugliest looking. It's just like a bunch of random polygons with a, with like a dog face, like uh, like a tiger. Just oh my god, that game is the definition of a hot mess, dude. The definition of a hot mess. Yo, Anthony Albert, what's up, my boy? How's it going? Um, and he says, um, and he says, how's it going? Anyone say Mad World on the Wii? No, nobody has said Mad World yet, and Mad World is absolutely one of those hidden gems. On the Wii, I still have the game. I love the game. I played it, beat it. I thought it was great. I love Mad World, which I talked about. Uh, I think when we were talking about like the whole Sega and Capcom thing, I was like, "Dude, Mad World! Sega owns the rights to Mad World. Mad World is so good. Like a modern Mad World would be. Oh, imagine Mad World with modern like 3D graphics, but with that art style. Oh my gosh! Imagine like a imagine like a single player action RPG in Mad World. Imagine that, dude. How dope would that be on the Switch? How dope would that be on the Switch? It's like, but you don't have to. You don't have to go super expensive budget game. You know, like you look at games like World War Z, right? World War Z selling millions of copies, forty bucks online co-op, just something that people want. People want Left 4 Dead. People want these action RPGs. You know, these action single player RPGs. Maybe you throw some co-op in there, uh, dual co-op, dude. I'm down, man. I'd be so down for that. Oh, that'd be good um is pokemon snap a hidden gem oh y'all know i don't know me i don't know the depths of my games too well um charity pokemon snap is definitely not a hidden gem it sold well back when it came out um and people knew it, it was marketed and advertised heavily um on tv blockbuster uh just toys r us like everybody knew about pokemon snap on the n64 if you had an n64 you knew about pokemon snap not only that but that was in the that was in one of the peaks and heights of the pokemon era i mean like everything pokemon was the number one everything you know number one every, for kids for 10 year old 10 year olds that the probably like the the 8 to 12 year old market everybody knew every single kid in that era group knew about pokemon snap like everybody everyone talked about it at school like hey have you take have you seen pokemon snap you take pictures of pokemon i remember when i first heard about it i was like why would i want to take pictures of pokemon and then i played it i was like oh this is not too bad but i was like but i still like pokemon um uh battle Revo or battle the stadium pokemon stadium i like that more i like that way more because i love i like battling pokemon not taking pictures of them um so yeah uh forsaken on the n64 is a great hidden gem okay never heard about that game um extreme g extreme g2 can we please talk about those hidden gems i've never heard about extreme g at least i don't think i've is that the racing game is that like the motorcycle racing game or, or like it's like a futuristic like you're on like a 
like a futuristic motorcycle. Is that what Extreme G is? That's what I think it is, but I'm not sure if it is. Um, Code of Princess was overshadowed for the amount of good games on the Switch, so I consider it a hidden gem. Well, Code of Princess originally came out on the 3DS, so it was overshadowed on both systems. Um, LMAO, the fighting game looked way better than PlayStation also was about. It did it though. It did it. Speed Racer is a hidden gem on the Wii. You get to spin and spin it. Dude, Speed Racer, that game is so stupid, dude. <laughs> Speed Racer. It's just Speed Racer is just a trash IP. I, I can't say anything else else else. And I'm joking here, guys. If you like Speed Racer, don't don't hurt me. Um, but the the, the problem that I have with Speed Racer is just like <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. I, I I need to dress up as Speed Racer at some point and do a live stream. <laughs> just 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 for the pure fact of how much I hate Speed Racer, I need to dress up as Speed Racer and talk like I'll be like, hey guys, let's go let's do Speed Racer. All right, we're gonna talk about hidden gems. Oh no, we gotta move on to the next topic. Just go like this, Speed Racer. <laughs> Remember when that show came on? I instant whenever the Speed Racer came on on TV, I instantly turned the TV off and went and played video games. I'd be watching, there'd be like Rugrats, there'd be like Looney Tunes, whatever the case is. And then as soon as Speed Racer came on, just turned the channel. I'm like, turn this crap off. Cause I remember the first time that I watched Speed Racer, I was just like, when I was a kid, I was just like, uh, I didn't understand this stupid show. Like it was just, and there's like a monkey in the car and in the in the in the, in the trunk. Like why are you guys putting that monkey in the trunk? Like why can't he sit? Like, why can't he sit out there with the dude? Like, why is he sitting there in the trunk? That's can that's animal cruelty. You know? I mean, I didn't like the fact that they had the monkey in the trunk. Uh, you know, um, they, it was just, it, why are they talking like they're talking? Like, it was just, man, Speed Racer is garbage. Uh, but anyway, it was popular enough for it to get a movie. So, there you go. Um, um, let's see. The English theme song is hot. Go, Speed Racer. Go, Speed Racer. Go, Speed Racer. Go. <laughs> Oh man, um, Scoremore says, here's a tip for improvement on the channel. Put a few blankets up in your room, stop the reflections and make it uh, my pro level. Um, I wasn't asking for tips uh, for you to improve uh, the for the channel. I'm not, I'm not asking for tips and I'm not gonna put blankets up in my room. We already got a revamp that we're gonna be doing um, and the quality of the stream in terms of the playback of the audio is actually fine. It's not, it's not too bad. So nah, wasn't, um, wasn't asking for tips, but thank you. Uh, but I wasn't asking for tips, don't worry my man. Um, wasn't asking for tips and I wasn't asking for any um, improvements for the channel. That's not going to improve the channel. I don't do, I don't do videos with my room. Like I do live streams where I talk to you guys. So that has nothing to do with like, that's not going to improve like the videos for the channel. It's just a live stream where you guys come and talk to me. So nah, I'm good. And like I said, we're already doing a, uh, we're already doing a revamp of the room. So don't worry about it. Man. I'm not putting blankets up in my room. That's, that's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, so yeah, no, so no. Um, so yeah, when you get a stream though, and you do, you put blankets up in your room, and you do all that, and that will help you improve the quality of your channel. How about that? Um, <laughs> and you do that. Um, straight rude to people that support you. I'm not rude at all, um, but I never asked him for any tips for the channel. That's And we were talking about hidden gems. I didn't ask him for any tips, so that's not rude. He said something, and I said I, I didn't ask him for that. And once again, once I, like I said before, we're already doing a revamp of the channel in the room and everything like that. So uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Nobody's being rude. Nobody's being rude. Uh, you didn't have to time him out. Um, you didn't have to time him out, but no, I didn't, I didn't ask him for any tips and that's not what the topic that we were on. So he went off topic. So there you go. So I answered him truthfully what I really felt, but I wasn't mean. I didn't call him names. I didn't say you're, you're banned. I didn't, I was very calm and just talked back to him, but I didn't ask him for it. So there you go. Um, and Seth thing, that's the first time that I've even seen you have not commented at all. That's the first time that you even commented here to complain. Um, let's see here. Tips are twenty. Tips are twenty a piece. <laughs> yeah, you want it yeah, exactly. Yeah, drop drop a twenty and then put the t put your tip in there. I got you, my boy. We'll definitely listen. But nah, I wasn't I wasn't asking for any tips, so it's all good. Um, let's see here. Hello, fine. I give up. Uh, but you, have you ever played uh, Hey You Pikachu? Hey You Pikachu. I have played Hey You Pikachu. It's not a very good game. What you said? You want tips? I'm ready to give you some tips. <laughs> Those tips are okay. <laughs> But no, guys, we're doing the room revamp, so don't worry, guys. Um, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, we are going to, like I said, we are going to do things. I don't want to let you guys know. I mean, I've been saying it a bunch of times, so you guys know, but there are going to be some uh, changes, so so don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry. It's happening, but uh, we got to plan things out. You know, we got to plan things out, so it's all good. Um, but shout outs. Thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate that. And I'm um, sorry, Seth Dean, um, for Dank Meme uh, timing you out, um, but... I mean, you come here with the blank avatar. You're not really conversating at all. And, um, 
you know, and he's like straight. I mean, for you to come at me like that in kind of way was just kind of. I think that was a little, little, little. There's no need for it, but that's okay. I, I understand. Um, but I don't think I was really too rude. I just said I didn't ask him for that. That's like that's it. So I was just I was just telling my truth, like my what I felt at the time. So I didn't ask him for it. Um, but anyway, moving on. Um, Prince Lavinity says, uh, "Would you mind uh, looking up Dark Rift for the N64 real quick? That's a deeply hidden gem. Um, I'll check it out later. I'm not really looking up games right now at this point, um, but um, maybe I'll check it out at some point. Absolutely." Dustin G says, "Freedom Wars on the Vita is a forgotten gem. If nobody if nobody mentioned it, uh, Freedom Wars. Yeah, I remember playing Freedom Wars. Freedom Wars is absolutely a great game. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good." Harmo Knight, that was made by Game Freak, wasn't it? That was like the music rhythm game, like music rhythm platformer. Uh, Star Ocean, the second story on the PS1 is a hidden gem. Okay, nice, nice. All right, guys, I think it's time, though. I think it's time. Shout out to everybody who's watching. We got over, what is it? We got over 170 people watching. Yo, shout outs to the day streams. Let's go. Um, if you have not followed me on Twitter, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. Um, Dank Beam, I think you can um, put a, a command for that. So let people um, follow me on Twitter. It'll pop up. Also, guys, uh, if you have not hit that like button, Make sure you guys hit the like button. Let's try to see if we can get to 130 likes on this video. 130 likes on this one. So hit that like button if you have not hit that like button yet. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, let's see here. Um, Dustin G says freedom. Okay, I already read that. Oh, even he says, oh, will you be saying your Switch E3 predictions? Yeah, we're going to talk about that right now. Well, actually, I want to hear more about your predictions. But I have two predictions for you guys that I think that will be happening. And I, I will have a dedicated video to Switch predictions as well. Um, one of my predictions is Kid Icarus is coming back. I think it's time, my boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Ninja, it is time. It is time. It is time. Kid Icarus does come back to the Nintendo Switch. It does come back, the franchise. I think that's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to be at E3 this year, but my prediction is Kid Icarus is coming back. And it's going to say, sorry to keep you waiting. It's going to be a trailer. Sorry to keep you waiting. We need Kid Icarus. It's coming back. That's my first big prediction. My second prediction is Japanese Switch ports unexpected japanese switch ports going to be announced at e3 stuff that you didn't expect stuff that people even bet money against that would come to the switch for example like dragon ball fighters people said that's not coming to the switch bandai namco said this and that bam e3 we heard about it dragon ball fighters on the nintendo switch so expect big switch ports japanese games to the switch and another one another uh prediction and these are just like i said these are just some baseline predictions here is western titles we're going to get at least two big western titles announced at e3 2019 for the switch um, and then we're going to have at least 1 million people complaining about how they run or how they look so yeah those are my predictions so what are you guys's um early predictions for uh for for e3 then uh let me know it, it can be switch it can be ps4 it can be xbox one it doesn't matter what it is let me know what your predictions are i'll be more than happy uh to answer those uh, God hand it. I'm out of the hidden gems. All right. Well, we're moving on to switch E3 predictions, switch E3 predictions. So, or sorry, just, uh, I said switch E3 predictions, but it can be any predictions that you want. Um, is Kid going to be a rail shooter? No, I think if they do a new Kid game, I think it will be an action hybrid. I think they'll have some rail shooter segments, but then they'll also have some segments on ground. I don't know if you've played Kid Uprising, but Kid Uprising isn't a rail shooter it's an action game that has some rail shooting um levels like the first part of the level you usually fly through and you start shooting and then the second part of the level you drop down on the ground and you play and the game is literally perfect the only problem with the game is the controls if the controls were fixed the game is literally perfect <laughs> if there wasn't if the controls weren't so bujangai bujangai dish <laughs> if the controls weren't so wonky you know the game would be perfect. The game is a perfect game outside of the controls. It, I really don't think there's anything wrong with the game outside of the controls. Everything else in the game is, is, is great. The combat's fantastic. The level or the the the, um, the fusion system, the weapon fusion system is better than a lot of fusion systems now at this day. Like the, um, the, the progression system is great. The difficulty is good. The, the sound, the music, the, the graphics for the 3DS are incredible. It has three-on-three -three online multiplayer. It is the full package, man. It is it is just phenomenal. But the controls are just bunked. That's it. The controls are just uh, they're they're just they're just nerf. They're just not good. I I can't defend the controls. They're just not good. <laughs> so yeah, I need we need kick, we need some kiddickers in our life. Um, let's see. Do you think Sakurai would be working on a kiddickers if it gets announced? I think so. I think Sakurai would be the one to do a Kid Icarus Uprising on the Switch. Um, let's see here. Um, Xenosaga. Xenosaga would be dope, man. 
Michael O'Brien says, do we know, uh, um, do we know when Nintendo uh, have their showcase spotlight? It's going to be the same as usual. It's going to be like probably like a Tuesday, like at whatever time or whatever, like 9 a.m. or something. So, yeah, it's, it, we don't know the exact time yet, but it's, it's probably going to be the typical thing, you know. Um, Xenosaga port. I think I think a remake of Xenosaga would be better than just a port, like a, just an uprising, you know. I think I think a whole full remake of the original Xenosaga would be super dope. Um, new to 3DS, but Uprising on my list to pick up. Uprising is very good. I'm predicting that we get a Capcom and Namco rep later in Smash. A Capcom. So yeah, I've talked about Capcom. Uh, either Dante, Leon S. Kennedy, or like Resident Evil. And then if it, in term in terms of uh, Namco rep later. Um, I don't know about a bad night Amco rep, but I know I think a Square Enix rep with uh, like a uh, Urdric or like even like the Luminary from Dragon Quest Eleven, some type of Dragon Quest character, I think is very possible. Um, all right, uh, Princess Lavinia says short teaser trailer will be revealing for Banjo Kazooie in Smash Ultimate will be showcased at some point during Nintendo's Direct. Whether I'm right or wrong, we'll see. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. A lot of people are predicting that we see like Banjo Kazooie you know, for, you know, for that, but we'll have to wait and see, um, Calvin Dye says, would you like Last Story 2, probably not happening, though, I would love a Last Story 2, I don't know if it's going to be happening, considering that, you know, uh, Hironobu Sakaguchi is showing up at Apple Game Store events, I mean, it's ridiculous, yo, what's up, Mr. P, how's it going, my boy, good to see you here, um, Don G Gaming says, a Xenosaga Trilogy for the Switch, Dark Souls 2 and 3, because I need them in my life, Ninja Gaiden exclusive to the Switch, yeah, I don't know about all that, um, I think Xenosaga, that could happen, I don't know about a trilogy, um, I think like maybe a, a, a re a remake of the original would be the best option, um, more so than trying to jam all three games into like a switch card and get that out. Um, although that'd be cool, but I think Xenosaga just remaking that and seeing how that does seeing what the market says about it. I think that'd be really cool, but I think Xenosaga would do really well if it was like a complete remake. That'd be dope. Um, Oh my gosh, new banjo, yay! Uh, well, no, he didn't. Say, uh, he didn't say new banjo, Cherry. He said banjo in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, which is a Switch game, on, you know, Nintendo Switch game. Um, so yeah, Dawson thirty one says I'm predicting a new Monolith IP. I hope new Mario Kart and 3D Donkey Kong game to be revealed. I want a 3D Donkey Kong game or like a new like action 2D Donkey Kong game. I think Mario Kart definitely has an opportunity to be revealed. Mario Kart eight was first announced at um, January 2013, and then it was revealed for the first time. The first trailer was at um, E3 2013. So I think it's very possible, you know, um, seven years, no, no, not seven years, I can't count. Uh, five years later, we now have um, a new Mario Kart game revealed at E3, so that's possible. Yo, who's mad is, let's go, let's go. Brand new member hype, thank you so much. Pain Fat Purple, welcome. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village. Thank you so much for your Elite Ninja support. Enjoy your emotes, my boy. And then also enjoy access to our exclusive Discord where you can play games against Player Essence and the other Elite Ninja. So yesterday we had Mario Kart. I think the day before we had Super Smash Brothers. Today I might be taking a little bit of a break from streaming um, a game because I'm going to be doing this whole Xenoblade Chronicles thing. So if I can get that situated and get everything edited, we might do Xenoblade Chronicles HD tonight. Um, but then we'll be back tomorrow probably with Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Back tomorrow with Super Smash Brothers or Mario Kart, whatever we feel like. I might take a poll from the Elite Ninja, like what do you guys want to play, Smash or Mario Kart? So um, so yeah, we're going to be bring back the polls too um, on Patreon and also on, on there. So thank you so much. Enjoy that sitting on my boy. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, all right. Uh, Michael O'Brien says, you guys all welcome, um, brand new member. Uh, we went down to 159. So now we're back into the 160 boys. We're trying to get to 175. Um, once again, um, I should put up that at 175 or I don't know if we're going to do it at 175 or 200. I want to do a hardcore run through of Fire Emblem Three Houses, but that game is going to be huge on the channel. So um, I'm looking forward to doing that too. So we'll see. Thank you so much though. I appreciate that. If anybody else does want to member up, you guys can hit the join button or you can, um, Follow the link. There's like a link. Uh, I know an Elite Ninja. You, um, Dink Meme, you can put up something like that. And uh, that will get you the link to become an Elite Ninja. So thank you guys. I appreciate the support. Um, all right. Uh, so let's see. He says no breaks. LOL. Oh, well, yeah, no breaks really. I mean, even if I don't stream a game, then I still have to edit videos, you know. However, I have been doing less of my own editing business work. I've been doing a little bit less of that and kind of putting a little bit more time into the streams and uh, stuff like that. So, so yeah um how much is it to join um it's uh 4.99 a month 
and um, it does get you uh, what's it called there's a link right there that Streamlabs put up and it does get you a bunch of cool stuff emotes and private discord all of that stuff so there you go <clears throat> um, my prediction of games is Legend of Zelda Minish Cap Minish Minish Cup I think you meant Minish Cap Minish Cap a remake that would be dope. I don't know if they'd announce that, though, before the, um, the current remake is done. So maybe that'll be announced later. But yeah, Minish Cap would be good. I like Minish Cap. Um, Scottish Dad it says, I predict Minecraft Steve and Dante for Smash. Okay. Would love Bayonetta 3 info. Mario Kart 9 announcement. Best announcement would ever would be Kickers Uprising. Switch sequel, like you said, that would be really good. I'd even take, I, I mean, I don't want a port, but I'd even take like a really nice port of the game. Um, Notre Damas with a dollar donation through Super Chat. Thank you so much, Notre Damas. I appreciate the support, my boy. Do appreciate that. No message, though. So, no message, but thank you for the dollar. Um, let's see here. Moving on. I missed your prediction. Okay, did you tag me, um, Katana Riku? Let me see. Okay, I see it, I see it up here, Katana Riku. Sorry about that, my, my boy. Reningan user, Katana Riku. Sorry about that. Um, let's go ahead and get your message read here. Um, actually, I lost it. No, I didn't lose it. I'm predicting. Hold up, I'm predicting a new Smash character and the new Zelda. Okay, I don't know if Zelda's gonna be there, Katana Riku, but I hope. Um, I do hope. So we got that. Sorry about that, Katana Riku. Sorry about that, man. Um, Dave Gaming, a leading to Dave Gaming says, I would love some type of Xenoblade announcement, either X Port or Xenoblade Chronicles Three. Plus, there's also some news on Bayonetta 3, some new 3D Mario game. Uh, 3D Mario game in Splatoon 3. I have high hopes. Okay, yeah, those are very high hopes. We'll see, man. I think Bayonetta 3 could be there, though. I think Bayonetta 3 could be there. I don't know about a new 3D Mario game. I think they're going to roll with the whole Mario 64 type of thing. You know, like, this is the Mario, the 3D Mario game of the Switch. Kind of like how Mario 64 was the 3D Mario game of the N64. So, yeah. But we'll have to see. I definitely think Mario Kart 9 could be announced at E3. It could be. That would be five years to the date. The five-year anniversary of Mario Kart um, first being shown off. Mario Kart 8, at least. Or the last Mario Kart game, right? Um, so, yeah, I think it definitely could be. Um, we haven't had a new Mario Kart in a while, right? So Because Mario Kart 7 came out before Mario Kart 8, obviously. And we, we've just had Mario Kart 8 for the past five years. So, I think, I think it's time for a new Mario Kart game. Yeah. Um, Zelda 2 Remake would be awesome. A Zelda 2, I don't want a Zelda 2 remake, to be honest. I kind of want a brand new RPG line of Zelda games made by either like Monolith Soft or like Intelligent Systems or somebody. I don't know if I want that game, Zelda 2, remade like in like HD graphics. I don't know if I want that, personally me, but uh, we'll see. Um, let's see, Dustin G says, I'd love to see Sin and Punishment revealed, but um, I don't think the IP is marketable though. Yeah, I mean, Sin, Sin and Punishment would be great, but I mean... We'll have to wait and see what they do. We'll have to wait and see what they do. Fury Tiger. Okay, yeah, Fury Tiger said that. Yeah, I just, man, Fury Tiger, I think you know how I feel about Zelda 2, man. I really dislike Zelda 2. But I, I, I like the idea of Zelda 2, of it being an RPG with more, you know, advanced combat, like the low and the high. But, man, Zelda 2 just, so, something about the game design just irks me about Zelda 2, man. I mean, maybe because I, I was traumatized as a kid, but even after playing it, like, you know, uh, like when it came out on the 3DS, I was just like, man, I really dislike this game. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I just do. Um, when I played Super Smash Brothers when I was younger, I, I would always get confused when I was Link because he would transform into Zelda. Are they the same person? No, 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 no. Link, Link never. <laughs> Charity, Link, Link, uh, Link never transformed into Zelda. W what that was that Zelda transformed into Sheik. That's what it was. Zelda transformed into Sheik, and she like you would pick Zelda, and then Zelda could transform into Sheik. It wasn't, it wasn't Link. Link is the dude with the green, right, with the tunic on and the leggings, with the green with the ears. That's Link, um, with the sword. He has the big sword. The one that you're talking about that transforms, that's Princess Zelda, the pink dress, and she transforms into Sheik, which is the ninja with the with the blue on. And like throws needles and like goes, and like grunts like that. Like <laughs> that's that that's that's chic. So those are the two that transforms. It's the same person. Um, it's the same person, but no, that that's that's different. Uh, Link is boy Zelda. <laughs> oh, so she's still a girl. Yes, yes, yes. So Princess Zelda is it's still a girl. Still a girl. When you transform, it sounds like a guy, but that's just because the the uh, the Sheikah. Were very um, 
uh, masculine warriors. You know, that's that's really all it comes down. They're just kind of, they're really masculine warriors uh, in the Zelda franchise that were sworn to protect um, the, the 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 kingdom. You know, or protect the princess of Hyrule, protect the kingdom. You know, so that's really the reason why that maybe some people say, oh, it's a man. You know, but no, not a man. They were just they were just they were just um, they were trained in that way. Impa's very kind of manlyish too. Although Impa's a woman, she's very manlyish too as well. You know, so that that's it. But no, not not a not a man, not a man at all. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I think you'll find that Link is the it- Italian with the mustache. Stop it, guys! Guys, listen, Charity, she's she's new to she's not really big into gaming, and she's trying to get back into it. Okay, she's trying to get back into, so that's why she didn't know because the last time she was playing games was N sixty four. So we got to be supportive of her getting back into it. You know, getting and letting her, letting her know you know what's going down. So that's the reason why she didn't know. Um, I missed your prediction. I know because there's a million people commenting. All right. So what's the prediction here? Instead of telling me I missed my prediction, just put it again so I don't have to scroll back up. Um, Michael okay, says, if you get to choose, let me get let me get to Michael here. If you if you have to choose between Monolith announcing a brand new IP for an, or, or a new Xenoblade game, which would you prefer? I think a new a, a new IP because we know Xenoblade is coming. Yeah, I would prefer a new IP. Absolutely. Alonzo says, my E3 prediction is that Nintendo going to make people upset by announcing new first-party 3DS game. I don't think so, because they, didn't, they haven't announced... They, they said at the, their last press conference, they said... Or not press conference, but they said, like, like 3DS is pretty much... Like, they're only expecting 1 million units for the whole fiscal year. So if they had, like, some new 3DS games that were actually going to move some units, then, you know, they, they'd probably expect a little bit more than that. Um, but they did say that the sales were stable. So if that's what they mean, 1 million for the fiscal year, that's stable. Okay, great. Um, but they didn't announce anything at the last direct, and I think they're. I think the 3DS is done. Um, I've talked to my sources, and I can't find a single source that says that there's a 3DS game in development, a new 3DS game in development. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. I guess at the end of the day, <laughs> but yeah, that would make people upset. Um, absolutely. Um, all right, uh, Obi Phoenix. I predict they will announce um, AI: The Summoning Files. That's already been announced. Um, Obi Phoenix. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, can you scroll up to my uh, comment about Fury Tiger? Uh, LJ misses my co- guys. There's so many people here. I'm sorry. I'm gonna miss some comments. Um, my prediction is that a new F Zero game fused with Star Fox and Earthbound Collection, Pikmin Collection. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, Nintendo's gonna throw us a major curveball and calling it right now. Pretty much, they always throw some curveballs at E3. Um, Damon X Machina was that curveball that we got the first time. They opened up with that game. Dustin G said, I'd love to see... Okay, I already read that. Sin and Punishment, uh, 3D World. Okay. Dragon Quest and Devil May Cry 2 in Smash Ultimate. Um, bonus points if Ninja Gaiden and Tails get in. Okay. Nice. Nice. All right. Let me see here. I know I missed some comments, guys. Retype your comment if I missed it. I think you'll find that link. Okay. I already read that. Uh, Jarmo, can you retype? What is it? Let me see. I'm predicting that we will see what Retro Studios has been working on for the past few years. So not so not Metroid Prime 4. You're predicting that we're going to see something outside of that? Outside of Metroid Prime 4. Okay. Okay, interesting. The possibility of Mario Kart or Super Mario Party DLC. Mario Kart or Super Mario Party DLC. Um, I think... I don't think DLC for Mario Kart. I don't think so. I think they're done with that game. Mario Kart 8. Um, when it comes to Mario Party, I think, yeah, there's a high possibility that we'll see DLC for the game. Uh, cloud streaming for the West on Switch, maybe. Cloud streaming? Mm, interesting. I buy the heck out of Ninja Gaiden Collection on the Switch. I would not. I hate Ninja Gaiden now. No, I'm joking. Ninja Gaiden's okay. Game Pass streaming on the Switch, okay? Game Pass streaming on the Switch. Let's go. Um, Midas Magnuson says the fact that uh, the fact that uh, that Captain Toad got DLC makes me interested in what games could get DLC. Well, lots of games. They did say that they're going to do more games with DLC, so we'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, Frank Rodriguez says date for Link's Awakening DKC three. Okay, DK, wait DKC three. Isn't there already a DKC three or Donkey Kong Country Returns or Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze? Like, what do you mean like DKC? Because there already is a DKC three. Luigi's Mansion three release date and more gameplay for Bayonetta three. Chatted with more info. New Smash Brothers character reveal. Uh, probably a Dragon Quest character. Okay, all those seem very somewhat likely, right? Um, so yeah. Um, Gunsick says they could add online boards for Super Mario Party. They could, but I don't, I'm wondering why they did. They mean, like, that should have been done at the beginning, but yeah, you're right, they could. Um, yeah, a third title in the retro games for DKC. Okay, so you mean like Donkey Kong Country Returns 2 or Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, like, 2, something like that. 
So in the in the retro studios line of Donkey Kong games, got it, got it, got it. Nice. Jarmo says, yeah, something else uh, outside of Prime Four. I mean, what do you think that retro studios could could have worked on at this point? Because for the past ten years, they've literally done, they've just done Donkey Kong. So what what game is like Raven Blade ever coming back? You know, that'd be dope. Raven Blade was supposed to be an action RPG, like kind of like Fire Emblem, but like an action RPG. So I won't. It kind of looked like it, so I'd be down for them to re -res resurrect that. But what what have they been working on? People, obviously, the rumored Star Fox racing game that's kind of been like uh, uh kind of reversed on that one. So, so yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see. Star Fox, Star Fox Grand Prix, yeah, you know what? Like a lot of people have kind of backtracked on that one based on that could have just been a, a really high level troll comment, you know. Um, so yeah, a new Prince of Persia, okay, so that'd be a Ubisoft thing, right? It's been a while since the last Prince of Persia game. That game has been, um, Prince of Persia has been on, it's been dead the past, what, 11 years? The last Prince of Persia was the 2008 game, right? So Prince of Persia has been gone for a very long time. I think it, I think it definitely needs to make a comeback. And I think the way to make it popular is simply just base it off of the first, not the first Prince of Persia game, but the Prince of Persia game for the PS2, Xbox, and GameCube. I think it's called Sands of Time. Just make a really cool Prince of Persia, like Sands of Time type of sequel. And I think it'd do just fine. Wasn't that a movie? Prince of Persia. <laughs> stop. Stop. Stop paint that verbal. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, forgot no, Forgotten Sense was the newest one. Okay. Forgotten Sense was the newest one in 2010. Okay. Um, no, didn't I say like, what was the Prince of... Well, hold on. Let me look it up. It's called Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. No. No. Is that what I said? I, I said not Forgotten Sands. Okay, you were talking about the movie Forgotten Sands. The Sands of Time was a good... Uh, Prince of Persia Sands of Time was a good game. That was on the GameCube. The Metacritic on that game is 92%, by the way, guys. So if they just take the same game design that they had Prince of Persia Sands of Time, and they uh, they make it just a better one of that, I think that could work in today's day. Let me check it out. So that's a 92. People, really, I played the game on the GameCube. I thought it was great. I rented it. I couldn't afford it at the time. I rented it. I thought it was a freaking amazing. I beat it like multiple times. I rent, I kept on, I rented it for two weekends in a row. I rented it and I beat it. And I was like, yo, this game's dope. You know, I just didn't have the money to buy it. Um, so yeah, I think, I think uh, if they kind of made a game in that same vein, they would do good in today's day. Um, I still want to believe that the Star Fox racing game is a thing, but it sounded like it sounded like a really cool di idea. Yeah, because it was like Diddy Kong racing, you know. So we'll have to wait and see, man. Um, when it comes to E3, I have a prediction. I think we're going to see something huge from Microsoft heading to the Switch. Okay. All right, Crit Astro. Like what? Like what? You think like uh, like Halo or like uh, like um, Fable or something like that? Like what do you think? um Asa yeah assassin's creed kills prince so that's why i hope for assassin's um, assassin's creed in persia okay well yeah i i guess maybe assassin's creed kind of killed prince of persia a bit right once assassin's creed took off so they just started making uh you know assassin's creed games but i still think prince of persia that game can still be uh, you know relevant but i guess assassin's creed odyssey is kind of like that right um honestly i want to see Watch Dogs 3 too you know that reminds me i need still need to play assassin's creed odyssey <laughs> um was scalebound rumor hype died definitely the hype has went down on that one because of some other recent stuff that has came out but we'll have to wait and see um all right guys we need to do random questions because this is the furthest we've ever went into topics without getting into random questions so we definitely need to do random questions because it's already 3 10 p.m where i'm at and i've got videos to edit and i've got a lot of stuff to do and we have the nightcap of player essence uh, or sorry of pe live so um if you have questions i will answer them um guys thank you so many people showed up today for this topic that was crazy um so yeah if you have questions tag me at player essence or hashtag player essence or if you have more stuff that you want to ask me when it comes to hidden gems or stuff like that i'll be more than happy to answer those for you okay all right i'm gonna predict this again okay i already read that okay hold up no i didn't read that i'm gonna predict this again but i hope red steel 3 yeah red steel 3 would be dope dude i'd be down for like a red steel 3 absolutely down for like a red steel 3 yeah that'd be great Mario Luigi's partner in time HD. I think we're going to see a new Mario Luigi game. I don't know if it's going to be an HD port. I think they're going to bring a new Mario Luigi game to the Switch. 
Your boy's gotta edit. Yeah, I gotta edit. I gotta edit. I've got a video that I'm almost done with though. So I'm gonna I'm gonna edit it, get it done, get it ready to go. A Bandai Namco video for you guys. I'm gonna get that done, and then I'm probably gonna take a I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, get something to eat, because I actually didn't eat after the gym. I had to go straight from the gym to here, which you're not supposed to do that because then you know your body absorbs nutrients the best right after the gym, right after you're done with exercise. So that's not good for like you know building the building the muscle. But hey, whatever. Um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, so and either way, I got to I got to get something to eat and then um, we'll be back later tonight for um, for the nightcap. What? Um, let's see here. Anyone anyone know that weird game? It's kind of like Assassin's Creed and you have to kill this big black demon with, um, thing in a cathedral. My brother used to play it. It scared me whenever I was younger. Big black thing, big black demon in a cathedral. Are you talking about like Castlevania? Are you talking about like uh, is that like Castlevania Lords of Shadow? Are you talking about something like that? Um, when was the last Camelot game um, game they made? Camelot isn't that the developers behind uh, uh, like Mario Tennis? Isn't that them? Tim W. Um, unlikely, but Mario Sunshine on the 3DS. That's not yeah. That's not happening. That's not even that's not even a, a reality. That's nothing. That's not gonna happen. Um, Double May Cry, okay, Double May Cry, okay, might be Double May Cry, I believe Xbox, what type of Xbox, like Xbox 360, Xbox One, the original Xbox, which, which Charity, which, which Xbox are you talking about, um, yes, Camelot did make Golden Sun, they did make Golden Sun, they also, yeah, they make Mario Tennis too, they make like the, um, they make like, they made like the, like, GBA Mario Tennis game too, so, do you think the Prince of Persia and Assassin's Creed series could coexist? Uh, apparently not, according to Ubisoft. <laughs> uh, but I think it could. I think it could. Although now that Prince of per like now that Assassin's Creed is an action RPG, they would have to make Prince of Persia. I think probably what you do is you make Prince of Persia a Bayonetta clone or a Bayonetta style game. That's what you'd have to do with Prince of Persia. Make it an action game where like you can like the, like the sands of time like to where you can slow down time and you can rewind things make it like that and then also make it some platforming parts as well so uh, that's probably what you'd have to do with it um some dude says you were right uh when you said the controls for kid Icarus uprising weren't that great i'm trying it for the first time right now and oh my god this is bad enjoying the game exactly that's what everyone says yo this game is dope i'm enjoying it but the controls in this game are really bad um i suggest using the face buttons to control the camera that's probably the best way to play the game, dude. I mean, I don't like doing this whole one-handed stylus thing. I've never been a fan of that. You know, unless it's like a puzzle game or something like that. I've never been a fan of action adventure games. Like, you know, that are sitting there making you play the game with one hand and like doing this. I hate that, man. Abs my hands are too I have my hands are too big to be sitting there holding a stylus and going like this on a tiny 3DS screen. Like it's just it's just not comfortable for me. It's just not comfortable and it really I really dislike Nintendo forcing these type of control schemes on people man like i really hated the ds era that's why i don't like the ds as much as other people because there was a lot of forced weirdo ds touch control stuff man and my hands are just too big my hands are just too big to be sitting there looking at a tiny screen like where it's like your hand is covering up half the screen i get the position the styles like this to, to tap i don't want to tap on things like it's this and look i hold the same thing the same thing for mobile games right you're just tapping on i don't want to tap on stuff man Jesus, like I hate, I, I don't want to tap on things to, 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 to hit stuff and all that. I don't, I don't find that fun to be tapping on a screen to, to, to attack. If there's one way to trigger me is talking about like tapping on things to attack. Like that's not a, that's not a fun way to do play a game and sitting there moving a stylus around like this. I don't, I don't like, I know Nintendo loved it and DS did amazing and people love that stuff and I get it, man, but I really disliked it. I really dislike it. Um... I think it was the newest Xbox, like 2015. Um, 2015. But you said that, wait a minute, you said that you're in your mid 20s. So you said like when you were a kid. So I don't get it. So you weren't a kid in 2015. You were, you were a young lady. You're still a young lady, but you were even a younger lady. So, I mean, I don't, I don't, you said when you were a kid though. Um, Crit Astro says, um, it could be anything. Master Chief Collection, or Blind. Okay, you're talking about like the big Microsoft thing. Shouldn't we respect the uh, respect the artistic vision of the of the force controls? Yeah, exactly. We should, we should, we should respect the artistic, right? We have to respect 
you know the the developers that want to do no easy mode so we should res respect the forced motion controls and stuff right the the gaming ga gamers are so funny man when it comes to when it comes to stuff like that they're so funny we need to respect no options for people maybe that aren't as good but whenever it's something that we don't like oh we can't respect that no 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 we can't respect that so yeah it's funny um no, I'm not a fan of Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. I have both games, and I've played both games, but no, I'm not a fan of either one of those games. <laughs> Pain Fat Purple. That's not a tap, bro. That's that's a that's a, that's a slap. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking for people in the chat. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, Dagbeam says, what's your definition of microtransaction? I already told you guys what my definition of microtransaction is. It's those little transactions where they're they're infinite they don't they don't ever run out you know what i'm saying they're infinite you can like loot boxes you know and like orbs and 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 fire emblem heroes like a microtransaction to me can be can be 50 dollars for a microtransaction if it never runs out if you spend 50 bucks and then it replenishes that's a microtransaction you know i, I know micro is not for small but it's based on a micro like infinite it comes over and 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 over again like to me after you've already bought the game microtransactions it's usually to where it's cheaper than what the game was the game was 60 or whatever the case is so it's usually cheaper than what you spent for the game so micro i guess right and usually they they want to get you over and over and over and over um to me pay dlc DL, dlc and microtransactions aren't the same thing um dlc is something that you buy and then it's done it's done after that that's what dlc is downloadable content paid downloadable content i don't consider you know um trying to put dollar values on what's micro or not because if you're filthy rich right if you're somebody who's super rich then twenty dollars twenty dollars which would be paid dlc that's a micro transaction for you right if you're freaking michael jordan 20 bucks or whatever the case is 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 uh is nothing to you so where do we put it to where the price range is so to me once again if it never runs out, microtransaction. Bravely Default has those, right? Never runs out, microtransaction. If it runs out and it's just DLC that you buy, pay DLC. It, it it's done. It doesn't it doesn't replenish. I don't care if it's a penny to to a hundred dollars. Pay DLC. A lot of I mean, there's a difference between the two, and that's how I separate it. Whereas people are having a lot of trouble separating what a microtransaction is these days because they're trying to base it on dollar values. They're trying to base it on well, it doesn't come out after. They're trying to base it on all these different things, but it just makes it more confusing to me like i said if it never if it's never done microtransaction if it's just dlc that you can buy and it's done like if it's a skin and it's a deal that's not, it's paid dlc it's a skin that you want paid dlc but it doesn't it's not, it's not the same thing that you buy over and it's not a loot box it's not the same thing that you buy over and over and over again but i know that my definition is not the same as other people's definitions so there you go um <laughs> Yes, I guess uh, I say younger because I'm going to be 25 next Monday. But I was 20. I just have to ask him though. Okay, yeah, ask him and let uh, ask him and let us let us know what it was. I'm I'm interested to see what game it was. Um, so yeah. Um, all right. Any other questions, guys? Um, guys and girls. <laughs> Crit Astra says, "What are the chances of getting a new Kid Icarus game on the Switch?" Well, I talked about it. I think I'm. I think that's one of my predictions. I think the 50 percent maybe. Michael O'Brien. Now that Smash Brothers is done. Uh, Michael O'Brien says that the players, since not all microtransactions are bad, like Fortnite skins, I've got no problem with that. It's just about the price. It's whether you, know, you are buying the game uh, of chance, like loot boxes. But doesn't like loot boxes is kind of like what? I mean, loot boxes, microtransactions, skins, never, never ending. I mean, all this stuff, people just throw it all into one basket, I guess. Right. I don't care. I, I buy what I want. I don't buy what I don't want. You know, um, to me. I buy Dragon Quest Heroes 2 for $13. That's what I do. <laughs> uh, Minus Magnuson says, when the 3DS is uh, phased out, do you think the DS or 3DS will have a better backlog? What do you mean? What? Oh, oh, the comparison between the two. Um, I think the DS definitely has more games. So I think most people probably say the DS has a better backlog. But in terms of what I like more, absolutely the 3DS to me was better. But that's just me. Uh, gotta go gotta hit the gym all right take it easy pay fat purple thank you thank you for coming out to the stream and thank you so much for sponsoring the channel i really do appreciate that thank you for your sponsorship man um welcome to the elites of the elite ninja village Jarmo says did you watch the latest uh friend code podcast from easy allies no i didn't i don't really watch easy allies too much anymore i'm too busy 
uh, doing my own thing. So no, I didn't watch the latest one. And was there anything important that I should know from the podcast? If you're asking me that, because that seems like a little bit of a random type of thing to ask me. So was there anything important that I should know? Um, Anthony Albert says, Am any plans to, dis- uh, to discuss the proposed legislation on loot boxes in the future? You know, I've tried to discuss stuff like that, but a lot of you guys, I mean, a lot of you guys don't care. So, I mean, like, maybe I'll talk about it on the nightcap, but I mean, whatever. If they ban the loot boxes, then they ban the loot boxes. I don't buy games with a lot of loot boxes and stuff like that in there, so... It doesn't affect me too much, but I can understand from some people. But I've talked about, I've tried to talk about that legislation stuff and get into like the, the businessy side of video gaming, you know, all the robot businessy side, and just like nobody gives a crap whenever I, unless I'm talking about like Fire Emblem or, you know, stuff like. That. A lot of people on this channel don't care about that crap. So I mean, I mean, I'll let John and you know JT Smash JT and those guys talk about the whole legislation stuff. It's like it's like when I make a GameStop video compared to anybody else. It's like you guys don't care, you know. Uh, so so there you go. Um, so yeah, um, you streaming Xenoblade Chronicles one? I gotta get it set up today. I gotta get it set up, and hopefully I can stream it um, sometime this week. Um, Drummo says uh, they had a, a farewell to the 3DS, and they also talked about Kid Icarus for the Switch. Okay, cool, cool. Maybe I'll check it out at some point. Maybe I'll check it out. Um, we don't need the government in our games. Yeah, I think that's it, it's a, it's a slippery slope when you start asking them about like government getting into. You know, legislating things because now what else can they do? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So, so yeah, absolutely, absolutely. All right, guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up. That's a two two hour podcast here. The time just flew by. We're probably gonna do like another hidden gem topics for later tonight because that was awesome. And I don't think I got all of you guys' hidden gems. Um, you know, um, I think a lot of you guys still had more hidden gems to tell me about. I'm gonna try to see if I can secure this Siren the Wanderer game. Um, on the Wii, so I can play that. And um, I got my Dragon Quest game coming in. So thank you guys for the suggestions. I appreciate that. I'm also going to work on my uh, next video. But before I go, guys, please uh, make sure you check out the channel. We have plenty of great content for you guys today. Uh, shout out to Kudo Tengetsu. Oh my, oh, it's all good, Kudo Tengetsu. Uh, you just got out of work. Um, I will be streaming later tonight in about uh, two hours or so, a little bit over two hours, I'll be streaming. So come back for the night stream. I'll be more than happy to answer questions and uh do whatever the case is so um all right so let's go ahead and head to the channel here guys i've got some videos up for you guys on the channel today a lot of good stuff um all right so uh we do have a brand new fire emblem video so if you guys have not seen my fire emblem video make sure you do so yes the chill stream was amazing today i i, I feel i i feel so good doing a chill stream and not talking about silly stuff you know like sometimes that we get into some of these podcasts like news and complaining or whatever the case is it was it was a great stream this was a fantastic stream flew, two hours flew by flew by like just like that we're already done um all right so there's that and make sure you guys like i said i, I will be doing another stream so if you want to come talk more about hidden gems with the uh, pe night ninja village make sure you guys do so so i have that video on fire emblem i also had yesterday a brand new video on um on uh monolith soft on oh with soft video so make sure you guys check out that video too if you haven't done so uh, we have that video as well and then i also had a video on um oh actually guys i have a fire emblem video that i did a couple days ago that's almost at ten thousand views so if you have not seen that fire emblem hype video fire emblem video with uh, Geralt, please make sure you do so get that video let's get that video to ten thousand views it's at 9.8 thousand right now. So let's get that video to 10,000 views if you have not seen it. And then we also have another video with Capcom um, that I did two days ago. Um, with Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry Switch. Um, is there going to be a live stream of State of Play? Oh uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to live stream State of Play, but that's before the podcast though. It's not going to be during the podcast because State of Play starts at 3 o'clock my time. The podcast is at 6 o'clock my time. So, no, it's not, and it's only 10 minutes long, so it's not going to be with Baron. Um, Because Baron, Baron's busy during the day. Um, Sorry, OJ, what topic? We're ending, we're ending the stream, Jade. (laughs) The stream is done. Um, We're going over, um, I'm going over, uh, that's why I'm linking all the videos here, stuff like that. So, um, isn't there P5R info tomorrow? Um, I don't know about that. Um, I think there might be. I think there might there might be, uh, but I'm not really sure. All right, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. 
Um, thank you so much. Uh, make sure you guys check out the videos. Hit the like button before you go. If you have not hit the like button, make sure you do so. If you're watching it on like the Xbox One or PS4, you can still hit the like button. Just click over to the three dots. Hit the like button before you go. Drop a like and um, share this. Well, actually, don't share the stream. We're done. But hit the like button before you go. And hopefully, I'll see you guys later tonight for the PE Podcast night uh, Nightcap. Where we're going to be talking about hidden gems and we're going to bring in a couple other different things that we can talk about as well. We might go over the same topics. I'm not really sure. Either way, you guys have some great predictions and stuff. So I'll see you guys later tonight for the, um, the nightcap. All right, guys. Peace.